Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to some more Elden Ring. How's it going, everybody? It's been a while. I'm finally back. We are live on YouTube, Twitch Reno, and the TikTok. How fun. I'm doing it all. I'm being dumb again. I'm on my triple stream shit again trying it also i think i swore and that there goes the algo goodbye swearing is a big no-no well we had a good five seconds all right so what the hell was i doing oh is, is hell a swear word oh, i said it twice i was gonna i was gonna say the s word now i gotta i gotta be careful i'm gonna be this is a pg stream it's not pg um but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to say, oh shoot. Gosh darn it. We can't cuss in the chat. You can cuss all you want. I'm the one that uh that can't. Or I can, but I shouldn't. Um okay. How have you guys been, man? How have you guys been? Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Yep, I'm finally back from my two weeks of dogma. I know a lot of you guys probably weren't watching. Uh, to avoid spoilers or because you just didn't care about Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, family friendly. Yeah. Get out the swear jar. Oh man, yeah, good good luck. I'm gonna go broke. Tried your Dark Souls 1 build today. It was pretty fun, happy face. Oh yeah, pretty fun, happy face. Very fair and balanced, happy face. Big announcement. Okay, so big announcement. Uh, indefinitely delayed. Sorry. I deleted the, the, the tweet. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll do the big announcement. All right. All right. I was trying to set up something cool, but I ran into a bit of a snag. So it's gonna, gonna have to wait. But it is, it's, I'm cooking. Let me cook a little more kitchen it just so happens to get you know set on fire you know it's fine everything's fine um okay uh we were doing tier monk i think we we're doing tier monk we we're working on him um, and Zach Hazard, thank you for the 30 months. Thanks for that resub, man. How's it going? Yeah, no, um, we were working on this build and I was trying to figure out, uh, well, I was trying to figure out what to do. I think I needed, did I get frost pots? No, I never did. No, I never did. Son of a gun. I'm gonna have to get the pots. Um... Oh, I didn't even get to, uh, to the hidden freaking place here. Forget about the pots. Oh my goodness. I got a lot. This character's like half cooked, half baked. Um, Mr. Ponar, thank you so much. The 18 months. 18? Yeah, that's it. 118 months. Welcome back. I am alive. I know when I, when I stream another game but Elden Ring, you guys just don't see me. And uh, Cromer Max as well. Thank you for the five months. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome back. Pooner, yep. You heard me. Did I stutter? Starfall Crater. Oh, we haven't even been down there. Are my Estus even maxed out? Plus 12. Uh, 14. Yeah, they are. Weird. Yo, Whitney. Thank you for the $2. Thank you so much. Are you madder than ever? I'm so mad. Can you hear how mad I am? Probably just tell. Um, oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. I just started here. You guys are ganking me. Also, welcome in TikTok gamers for the first time in a long time. Oh my gosh. Uh, we are going to do some PVE and, and PVP today. We're going to switch it up. Uh, I'm going to work on this build. Uh, I think, I think I gotta, man, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I've done. Cause like we got, we got all that. I think we need to go, 
we need to get all the areas unlocked like that's sort of psychotic that we only have we don't have the underground we don't even have the hidden halleck tree like what's what's happening here let's go let's go whips let's go whip our boy in castle soul how's kitty oh zelda's so good she is sleepy as heck today she's like eepy cat i um you know she usually wakes up with me but today she was just she was she was not having it i was like all right good night kitty <laughs> um holy crap Zeno Christ! thank you for the one year of support oh my lord thank you man welcome back and wayne smiley for the 25 months welcome back you guys oh my goodness all the spam subs you guys you guys are were waiting you guys are camping me out what's up pally <clears throat> Here's your welcome online biddies. Oh my god. Thank you, Luminary, as well for the 100 bits. Let's go. I love Zelda. Everybody loves Zelda. That's a good freaking cat. That's a high quality cat. You ain't never seen a cat like that. Sorry. Ow! All right, chat. I'm going to ask you a real big favor, okay? If someone would be so kind as to, uh, Pull up if they have TikTok. Pull up my my stream on there, and let me know if it looks and sounds all right. Because I, I changed the settings. Oh god, I hate this boss. Uh, I'm on PS5. Usually only play on PS5. Um, I I switch between a PS5 and PS4. Looks and sounds fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Pop. I appreciate that. I like your TikTok badges that I don't understand because I'm old. I'm sure they're, they're prestigious. Bong, dong. Gotta hate that thing. Good. Excellent, Bottle. Thank you. Thanks for the feedback, guys. And girls. Uh, do you think I'll first try him? You think I'll first try this? This <laughs> I'm trying not to swear. This son of a gun. This is stupid goober. <laughs> no shot. Nah, dude. I'm pretty good at him. If I had a parry shield, he'd be like Omega dead. Oh no! 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 I actually no. I didn't. I didn't get it. There's too many. It's so hard not to swear. No! Oh! Especially when there's such baloney. There's such baloney. All right. All right. Do what you must. I've already won. Do what you must. <laughs> All right. We'll respawn and we'll run to the boss. Gosh, I hate this area. Just so psychotic, dude. There's way too many. Lo Look at this. There's a party happening. And I was not invited. God, this is ridiculous. Boy. Mother fudgers. <laughs> yeah, actually. You foul miscreants. Malarkey. Bruce Lee mode. Dude, that was just cruel, man. Stomped me, kicked me in the corner. Goodness. All right, let's go. Here we go. Oh my God, thank you for the for the heart me. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Oh God, I forgot the two. Okay. Yeah, we made it in. We made it in the place. There we go. Wow, that was clean. Okay, okay, okay. Use a summon. We don't need summons where we're going. Straight to the load screen. <laughs> no. Jesus. Nasty. Is Jesus a swear? I don't think so. Unless I put the C at the end. I'm gonna try to backstab him with misery cord. Oh, it worked! He's done. 
All right, you bastard. Oh God, bastard swear word, isn't it? I am so bad at this. All right, chat. If I get, if I get flagged on TikTok for, for swearing, for saying hell, I will, I will, I will gladly accept my, my punishment, my banishment from the algorithm, okay? I remember in, uh, oh God, middle school. I had like the biggest, dumbest fight with this girl over if hell is a swear word. I was like, yo, it's not, it's a place. It's like not a swear word. Like it's just, it just happened stupid. Um, we're not doing a whole lot of damage to him. Our damage could be better. Hell and damn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about those ones. I'm gonna like veto it. Damn, he's 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 not getting poise broken at all. Well, we're really testing the algo now. Oh, you're tickling him. I know. God, I thought I'd do more damage. This is a really powerful build, but our boy's just real tanky. This might be a problem. I am playing pretty mentally. To be fair. Uh, I should have endured. Wow. Okay, that's nasty. He just never gets uh, staggered. the juice and he's half good 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 look looking good Woo! okay okay actually looking good ah uh, until that frostbite rock Okay, what can we do? What can we do? I don't have it. I'm a loser. I don't have it. I'm a loser, Chet. Uh, we can we can we can swap for the uh, beast bestial vitality though. We can totally do that. Are you ready for this? Big swap, a big swap. -a. Holy. Woo. That was stupid. Oh, the delay. Ah. <laughs> Damn. That was good. Yeah, rotten meat. Rotten meat could have done it. All right, we'll try again. That was nasty. We got this though. We got this. It's just, you know, hard. It's just, you know, it really sucks. Rolling works. Thank you for this incredible tip. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's fair. I did just sort of eat his attack. Also, don't die. Also, do not get hit. I've never seen this boss before. He's kind of cool. He's very cool until he kills you. Yeah, I got, I got mixed up by his delay. I fought him so many times. I should know by now. But... Yep, before this happens. Man. Oh, I 
keep on trying to swap. Get the backstab on him. There we go. his animations there. That was really cheeky. Oh, he keeps on doing it. I gotta, I gotta be more careful. Holy crap. He's out of juice, but like, no matter what we do, I can't stun him. Sir, dude, don't do that much stagger damage. The old circle back that works every time. Oh man. Okay, I gotta stop falling for that. After his dash, he does the slam. left man this is rough it's funny i usually don't have a problem with the it just honestly i think this is a bad weapon for him because it just ne never staggers him i feel like anything else would get the repose and i keep on falling for that and I don't know why. I definitely, oh, wow. I didn't know that did a hit. Darn. Okay. Terra Magica and, and three comet Azure's deep right now. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to respec. I'm not going to respec. But we do have some better options. For, um, for damage. Uh, let's use the tide and true The tide and true bloodhound fang combo here Let's go. You got this. Thank you. I believe Let me uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go He's very resistant to whip damage. I think um, he's definitely strong against that, but we'll get him. We'll get him. We'll get him Like you right, but I I, I believe um Still fat rolling. Let Zelda play. Oh my god. Fluffle buns. Thank you for the six months. Honestly, Zelda might do better than me. There we go. This is fine. A little scuffed, but it's fine. Everybody's favorite Bloodhound Fang. Ah, uh, this will do it. You'll see the difference. Bewitching Branch. Yeah, Bewitching Branch does work too. Um, I like killing him the old-fashioned way, though. It's actually pretty fun. Alright. God, they rushed me down. That's okay, he sucked. Attack. 
Oh my god, I jumped back into it. Okay, that was a little funny. Oh my god, he almost insta killed me. No mystery cord. I unequipped it. Because we had to fast roll. I bet we could have done it without the gloves, maybe, though. A level, level 90, so it's a little harder. Usually a higher level around this point. next time and uh default guy thank you for the 72 months welcome back dude brutal dude that 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 hurt that hurt my soul now we got it we got him now look at the damage we're doing literally one more and he's done so and then we gotta go uh oh uh, we gotta go to this stupid snow field Maybe try summoning. Thank you. New game? Yeah, just normal new game. Just normal new game. Oh. oh my god. Look at him go. Oh. Big, big whips for our boy Oleg. Looks like you better... Uh... No, I died. I uh, really, I don't know what I was going to say. But whatever it was, it was going to be really stupid. So I'm glad I shut up. Oh, God. Uh, that is my least favorite attack today. Wow. I've never seen him delay that so so far. That's crazy. He's decided today I will kill Orboro. He says Orboro's killed me way too much. He said now I'm I'm done getting farmed by him. He keeps on making new characters to kill me. He said today no more. Understandable. Have a nice day. He's really getting sick of my 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 poop. Poop the swear word shit. Does that count? Oh god. Uh, PB ears after I uh, roll away one and they're still swinging in the air I'm Like dude, I'm not even there anymore. What are you doing? There we go. There we go big damage. Oh God, he followed me. Okay. I got his roll that time Yeah, you're not pulling that pulling that crap again <laughs> It's so hard not to swear I'm trying to appease the TikTok algo god by not swearing. Alright, I'm trying my best. He's done though, look at him. He's, he's done so. Oh man, okay, that was tricky. I'm getting out of there. I'm gonna heal up the full. I'm not even gonna chance it. <laughs> Whatever. I'm chancing it. Remember what I did? It was chancing. I lied. Oh, got him. 
anime finish. Let's go. Yeah, F it, we beam. There we go. Woo. Uh, the worst is, uh, is yet to come, though, I think. I think that was like, that was like baby mode. Second hardest boss. He's very difficult. He's got a very, very move set. He does a lot of crazy stuff. Ah, I can't, I can't equip the misery cord. I was wrong. It was worth the shot. Hope you all enjoyed your Dragon's Dogma 2 playthroughs. Heck yeah, it was so good. Any Dragon's Dogma 2 gamers in the chat? I just finished it after like playing it for two weeks straight. That's why I'm back on Elden Ring. I'm like, well, what now? Light attack? Oh no, that's a heavy attack. You gotta do R2 for the swipe. That's what I finished him off with. It's just probably, it's hard to see. First playthrough. Uh, this is about my 10,000th playthrough. Um, actually. Yeah, I, 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 I play this game too much. Oh, uh, you think I'd be better at it, but I mainly PVP. <laughs> you think I would, you think I wouldn't struggle so bad with that boss. It's too complicated to me. I play Diablo. This game? No. This game isn't complicated. Unless you're talking about Dragon's Dogma, which also isn't complicated. But I'd say Diablo is more complicated than both of them. You know, you actually have stats in Diablo. You know, stuff you got to juggle. Um. Oh, goodness. We got to go. We got to go to the Albanarg village. I haven't been over there. Max level on Dragon's Dogma 2. Dude, max level is like level 1,000. No. <laughs> but I beat the game. I beat the game entirely. True ending and all. It's great. It was super fun. I might try it. You should. You really should. It's a great game. Uh, is it the best game ever? No. It definitely has its problems. A lot of problems. In fact, I knocked my overall rating from an 8 down to a 7.5 after, you know fully experiencing the game however it's still worth it it's still so much fun i did play it for two weeks straight i must have had some fun with it you know um and my favorite build is uh, probably my dark moon knight build which is a uh well it uses the dark moon sword dark moon great sword it's a int build strength slash int really but m more of a dex and more of just an int build like it, it does, doesn't need anything more than the int it's got. So, is it anything like this? Sort of, not really. Trying to get to the other snow area. Yeah, we're going to the snow field now. We're heading to the snow field now. Help divers worth it. <laughs> hell divers. Yeah, hell divers solo is not as fun as it is with friends. I will say that hell divers. It's a great game, but. Honestly, I'd recommend maybe getting something else if you're a solo gamer, like sort of like myself. Like there's a lot of better games to, to just play by yourself. All divers by yourself. It, it's it's one of those games that's just not meant for solo play, but it's still fun. Stellar Blade. Yeah, Stellar Blade looks sick. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream it. I'll talk to Nefali. Skip through dialogue. She's chilling here. I witnessed the suppression awaking. Put the under the through. Um, and Sean, thank you for the Put 28 the months. Thank the you. The Welcome back. Hello from the other side of the world. Are you on a super vacation? Are you visiting somewhere? Either way, uh, hope you're doing great, man. Hope you're doing good. Where's she after this spot? Um, I think she goes back to the castle. Gosh, it's been ages since I did her quest. I think this is like one of the last spots she goes to. She didn't she didn't travel too far. I played Lords of the Fallen, also fun. Um, yeah, I had a good time in Lords of the Fallen. It was one of those games like I actually enjoyed playing through, but you know, it was still like a scuff. It's still scuff. 
steal me. Too slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He should have gave me the medallion quicker. It's not my fault. Murderer! I know. I know. I'm a bad red man. Oh, <laughs> jump! <laughs> I cut him in half. That was fantastic. He actually tried to jump attack me there, and I just like, nope. That R2 follow up just like <laughs> he jumped right into it. Rid of his crappy clinging bone. Although, actually, I say that if you land life steal fist in PvP, it's just like insta kill. Sort of insane with the right with the right build. Uh, I've seen some some S word. I've seen some S word. Some poop. I've seen some stuff. Yeah, S word stuff. That's right. That's what that means. Uh, I could not finish Lords of the Fallen. I just couldn't. Well, it's not for everybody. Did someone say Life Steel Fist? Oh my God! It's Mr. Life Steel Fist himself. Bloody finger. How's it going, man? <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're the one I saw doing it, man. That was nasty. That was nasty. I'm really glad that it's so powerful, but so hard to pull off. Like that, that brings me great joy. Um, okay, okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta continue on here. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, we are going to the mountaintops. Elevator. We got uh, the lift. Up we go. Good to see you back. Yeah, I took a two-week Dragon's Dogma vacation. <laughs> what sword are you using? This is called the Bloodhound's Fang. It is insanely overpowered. It's also extremely easy to get. Uh, you get it, like, in this uh, jail, this ever jail, like, right, right here. Isn't it right here, Chen? I think it's around here. Or, no, 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 it's right there. It's right there. I lied. Yeah, it's at the south of uh, North Limgrave. South of North Limgrave. Yeah, I said it, actually. Right before you get to the bridge, this one, you go in there, you beat his butt. He's actually a pretty difficult fight. So you actually have to be good or a little over leveled to beat him. Um, and then it'll be good. And then you went, are you running with Tantra's tongue? No. No, I'm not, uh, I don't have the Tantra's tongue on. Tantra's tongue, I feel like it just, it's, there's no nice in between for Tantra's tongue, you know? It's either like psychotic, you're getting summoned, uh, you know, the 7,000 reds or, you know, or the, you, you know, you don't use it and you get none at all. I wish there was just a, a one where you just get normal invasions. That would be cool. I wouldn't mind that. And as an invader, I wouldn't mind that either, but it's just, it's just psychotic, dude. You get like two reds, like instantly, like super. <laughs> okay. That was funny. What's up with people jumping into this thing? Gonna have a nap. Good luck. Have a wonderful nap. Thank you. I will need it. You'll only get one invader at a time unless you summon. Um, that's not true. No, I don't think that's true, is it? That's definitely not true. Yeah, Taunter's Tongue will open up the, the, the slots for... Uh, it is true? What? Am I, am I, am I going crazy? It is true? Okay, what do I know? I don't, I don't taunt, I'm not a taunter tongue gamer. That's funny, I didn't realize that. Okay, so, so to get another red in, you actually have to, um... Okay, Taunter's Tongue doesn't let you get invaded by a second red until a blue comes in. I see. Okay, so so blues, you know, it probably get auto summoned in and then a red gets double summoned in and then it gets messy. Okay. I actually didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. I thought Taunter's Tongue opens up all the invader slots. Uh, even if you're solo. That makes sense why I never get any help. Um, I sort of wish, I sort of wish it did, honestly. Um, and Stray Shadows, thank you for the 111 months. Oh my goodness, that's a long time. Thank you so much, man. What's the best keepsake? Oh man, 
it's been so long since i actually picked the keepsake um i would say the golden seed i would say the golden seed without a doubt give you a, a nice little early game boost um through the estus upgrades i think golden seed and then there's something else that was decent too um but golden seed is probably oh yeah crimson amber medallion yeah but at the same time you can get that very quickly you can get that very quickly like you could run out the door and walk two feet and get the crimson amber medallion so that one i i don't really don't like getting Yo, Eric, thank you for the 61 months. Thanks for that resub, man. How's it going? Can't think of anything witty to say. It's understandable. Have you played Liza P? Yes, I love it. I'm, uh, I'm currently in the middle of editing my Liza P playthrough for YouTube, actually. It's taken a while. Uh, but I had a, such a good time with that game. I loved it. That's that's one game where I was like, it was excellent from the beginning to end. Like, I can't say anything bad about the game. It, it's actually like a masterpiece. It's incredible. If you like, uh, like, Sekiro likes or Souls likes, you owe it to yourself to try it. I, I would give that game like 9 out of 10. It was so good. Like, that game was unbelievable. I, I think about it daily even after beating it like so long ago watch out for dragon king soldier phantoms he almost got me he almost got me Whitney thank you for the two dollars which game Liza P Liza P what a 10 what do you give Elden Ring oh a 10 easily if anything would ever be a 10 it's Elden Ring it's 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 perfect video game as close as we're gonna get um make cod great again thank you for the 25 months thanks for that resub i appreciate that so much how do you rate elden ring pvp one out of ten trash <laughs> all right uh let me uh let's hop downstairs let's hop downstairs a seven that is so generous um arc thrones they updated it recently yeah i've heard my friends have been playing it and uh they said they added a bunch of cool stuff they got like uh windy like curved swords and stuff and like a bow staff and i'm like what so might be cool Oh no, I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. Old old man is getting confused. There's too many damn mods. Um Arc Thrones I've already beat. I've already played and beat. Um they updated it. Um, but like, you know, I've experienced everything. So there's nothing for me. Um You know, they didn't add any content. They just balanced it out. So if you you, you guys were holding out on Arc Thrones um because i told you to because it was extremely imbalanced maybe it's worth uh checking out again um finally i can play it again yeah exactly um yeah what i was thinking of is um god the mod that i'm in convergence mod elden ring convergence mod yeah now that now that mod's fun god i love that mod That P. Peverson patch coming soon. I, I thought it was already out. Also, hi, P. Demon Souls is still great. Oh, it's one of my faves. I think in terms of, like, my favorite games, it's, like, Dark Souls 1, Elden Ring, Bloodborne, and then, like, Demon Souls. It's just, it just one of those games that just, it just so fun to play through, and it's so, like, tight, and yeah, you know, it's short and easy, but it's just so good 
it's a vibe, man. Even even the remake is so good. I know people hate it because the art style is different. Um, and in all honesty, I, I even go back and I play the old one on an emulator. Um, but I really like what they did with the remake. I think it's cool. Like they, they did a really good job. Um, aside from the obvious, you know, uh, ripping out a bit of the charm. I know a lot of people hate, hate that they, uh, they changed it so much, but they had to, you know, it's a remake. So I don't, I don't fault them, but, uh, I wish it was a little more true to the original for sure. Like we all do. Amazing graphics. I think the Demon Souls on PS5 has the best graphics out of any game I've ever seen ever. Uh, still to this date. And it's on a, it's on a PS5, dude. Like that's, that's insane. PS5, 60 FPS. Like how is, how? How do they do that? How do they make it look so good? I think it's just the, um, the art team, man. They just did an excellent job just making it just so damn pretty, you know? God, that game looks good. It's actually insane. I have a 4090, like, super computer, NASA computer, and I still haven't found a game that looks that good. Um, also, Blaze, thank you for the 300 bits, dude. Thank you so much, man. Hello, how's it going? Imagine Dark Souls 1 like that. Oh, people are saying like, don't touch, don't let Blue Point touch my Dark Souls 1. Don't put, don't let Blue Point touch my, you know, my perfect game. They're going to ruin it. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Like, like it might, you know, look a little different, but that's the only way it's going to get done. You know, the original game exists. Yeah. Right. Like, man. Bloodhound Claws. Oh, Bloodhound Claws are super fun. God, they're so overpowered in PvP. Uh, our good friend in the in the chat, uh, P. Peverson, he loves the claws. Um, and he used them when they were like garbage. And now they're like Omega broken with the true combo. They're like the best invasion weapon in the game. You hate them? Yeah, yeah. You, you did like them though. Come on. You did, they're cool. Ow. They're so dumb now. Have you played the other Soulsborne games before? Oh God, yeah. Thousand billion times. I have, uh, oh God. Probably, probably over 3,000 hours in Demon Souls. Over 10,000 hours in Dark Souls 1. Probably 3,002. Probably 2,003. Uh, Bloodborne, I actually have less than a thousand. I'm sort of a loser. But to be fair, that game online, it didn't work. So I couldn't invade people. It made me very sad. Love your armor. Thank you. I'm missing some of it because we're PVEing, but my full set has gloves. I feel naked. I feel naked without my gloves. Here. Quick, quick peek. That's what it usually looks like but my hands are cold um hardest from soft game <laughs> hardest from soft game is probably the one you play last right because you get good at them after playing them for the first time or maybe the first one i mean is what i mean the first one you play sorry my brain's backwards um sekiro yeah i would say sekiro for sure because that's a game you can't tease you can't like over level in sekiro you can't like you know change your build you just have to you have you have you have to do it you know there's nothing you can do aside from getting better in Sekiro and uh, I really like that about Sekiro but also don't like that about Sekiro because I like making fun RPG characters you know I don't like playing as you know John Sekiro I like playing as you know Ouroboro the Omega you know Giga Chad Knight or whatever I so choose I love the RPG elements of these, uh, the Souls games. You little... Mm, are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know why I'm fighting the Clayman. I don't know. It's just sort of fun. I never fight these things. I'm like, you know what? Let's, 
Let's goof him up. He scooped me. Yeah, he did. Scoop my butt. I've never seen that grab. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen that grab either. <laughs> did you play God of War Ragnarok? I haven't played any God of War ever. Thank you, Whitney, for the $2. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sort of a loser. Um, it's one of those games that I want to get to. That I want to get to. I know I'm sort of a loser. I don't want to talk about it. Bloodborne's first boss seems way too easy. It's more like a mini boss. I mean, most people quit Bloodborne on the first boss, uh, be it Cleric Beast or Gascoigne. So like you might think it's easy, but for, for a lot of other people, it's just, it's their final boss, you know? <laughs> It is funny how uh, different people have find different things more difficult. You know, like you could say, oh, I breezed through that first try. And then, oh God, this boss is an absolute nightmare. I died 700 tries. I feel like there are some bosses that, that break that mold, like Melania, for example. I feel like nobody beat Melania first try. Could be wrong. Maybe there's some secret God gamers. Peeve is like, yeah, I parried her first hit. <laughs> Wasn't even a big deal. I, I slept uh, when I entered Melania's boss fight. <laughs> Phase two automatically dead. Some secret mimic tear rivers of blood gamers. <laughs> yeah, that's the real <laughs> secret. <laughs> uh, true. Ow. Oh. At least in Elden Ring, you can choose not to fight some bosses. In Elden Ring, you can like choose not to fight some bosses. You can go different areas. You can find different weapons. You can respec your build. It's so lenient on the ways to approach each each fight. You know, you got spirit ashes. You can summon people. Like there's a lot of uh, there's a million different ways to approach each situation. And uh, I, that's why I like Elden Ring a lot because uh, you know. It's really, it's a good one for, for new players to get into as well as like, you know, veteran players. Um, because the whole game is so versatile, you know? Um, it's just cool. Um, okay, so we got the map. That's really all I wanted. Um, Lake Arat map, that's gonna be a whole thing. Uh, we'll wait on that. Um, however, I do want to, uh, go downtown to Nakron. I think we will, uh, go do that. And we're going to be getting a lot of Elden Ring from Moroboro because he has to redo all his builds for the next two months in time to not have any good level for the P DLC. That's exactly right, Peeve. That's exactly right, dude. Peeve's, Peeve's got the gist of it. That's exactly right. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> level 200. Oh, God. Don't, don't. Don't get peeve started on the level 90 versus 200 invasion debate. We're going to be here for the rest of our lives. I think we talked last time. Last time we talked about it, we I was stuck on the phone for like, I think two hours we were arguing. There's no debate. Just do both, you freak. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with doing both. In fact, I will do both. Jeez. Are you playing on PC? Uh, no, I'm playing on, uh, PS5. Um, PC version community is a little, uh, slower than, uh, the PlayStations because of, uh, Luke Yui's seamless co-op mod. So I like invading on here for, for PvP, like making characters on, uh, on PlayStation instead. Even though the PC version does look way better. It's a bit of a bummer then. calling us slow i'm not calling you slow what the heck no way to take that out of context oh wow it's oroboro oh wow it's me 
Oh my god, is that Ouroboro? Is that the two-time Twitch Rivals champion? Oh my god, is that the Armored Core himself? Yes, it is. I'm just kidding. How's it going, man? Didn't expect to see you. Well, here I am. Surprise. Yeah, I usually don't stream on TikTok. Why aren't you picking up the items? I already have everything. This, uh, this isn't like my first playthrough. Technically, it's still new game, but I, I got everything already. This is like a Omega Mule character. So I have no need to pick anything up. There's a couple things I'd like to pick up. Like this drop right here is important. If you're going to uh, Spirit Ashes. Yoink. I beat this on, on PS4. PS4 version on PS5 is actually the best version. Um, at least on PlayStation because it runs at a solid 60 FPS. And it looks relatively the same. Like the graphics are a little, little worse. But like there's some grass patches missing and that's it. <clears throat> um, I will grab, I'll grab. I should have grabbed the other larval tier. There's another one in the, uh, in the back there, but I'm about to get it too. So it's fine. All right, time to beat the only, the only man I trust. Myself. Ow. Can we be friends on PlayStation? Sorry, I don't accept anybody. Nothing personal. I just, if I did, I would have no room. You know, I'd have just a extremely loaded friends list. Oh, he I framed me. Okay. All right. All right. He might be better than me. Okay. This guy's good. He's, he looks good too. <laughs> Beat yourself now. <laughs> I see what you did there. Dude, why do I keep on jumping into it? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like a glutton for punishment. I'm like he's doing the uh, weapon art. Time to run in. Time to walk into it. Like he's going to do to me right now. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, big whips. Nope. Stop it. Look at him just mash. He's just mashing. What are you doing? No zippies. No zippies. No zippies. No. Point down. That deserves a point down. I think I was an idiot. Oh, wait. That was me. What's on your weapon? Um, I have a blood flame blade. It's a uh, buff. It's very good. It uh, causes bleed damage over time and a little bit of fire damage too. Mimic is harder than I thought. Yeah, everybody cheeses him now. They're no fun. Everybody's like, take off your armor and, and pants and clothes and your weapons. I'm like, dude, you just want to see me naked. Like, just tell me, you know, just be straight with me. Also, I don't know why I, I don't hop on Torrent here. I found the best cheese is to shoot the puddle with an arrow and it dies in one hit. No way. No way that's true. What? It's true. You can shoot the puddle before it spawns. That's so... I've never seen that. That must be new. It's whack. That's so funny. That's hysterical. Um, backed junior roll. Thank you for the $5. We're so backed. We are so back, brother. Brother, brother, we're back, brother. Back on TikTok, too, is what we're really back on. Oh, God. Hope you TikTok gamers are enjoying the stream. Oh, I'm trying to get a more permanent setup so I can stream on TikTok more. 
to get you guys in on the fun. Ice cream, yum, yum, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I, I'm trying not to meme too hard. I'm trying not to lean into the, the TikTok memes. I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough to, to do the NPC, you know, girls on, on TikTok. I'm not. Look, look what I need to mimic a fraction of their power. There we go. Give me that mimic here. Can't play without him. Can't play with him. Can't play without him. We got him, boys. Here we go. Secured myself. Excellent. I'll probably never use it. But... OMG, Oro on TikTok. OMG, Oro on TikTok. Yeah, I don't have a bow peeve, even if I, even if I could test it here. Like I, I literally, I don't have a bow. Who wins, the Tarnished or Zeus? I mean, we literally kill an Elder God. Um, that I think might even be stronger than Zeus. So I don't know. Always see the stream on Twitch. Yeah, I stream on uh, TikTok, YouTube, and, and Twitch now. But, I mean, you can watch on any platform of your choosing. That's what's so wonderful. Um, <clears throat> And Eve, thank you for the 32 moms. Thank you, man. I expect no Dragon's Dogma 2 spoilers. We're not going to talk about Dragon's Dogma 2 spoilers, dude. Gosh, I mean, at least not for me. And yeah, chat, zip it. He has beaten it. He's slow. He's really slow. I thought I was slow. The gig is slow. No tornado towns. Yeah, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, you're not destined to open this. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Uh, okay. This is happening. dodge oh look at that stagger oh and the bleed proc burrito 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 combo easy looks like your dark souls 2 drip yep that's what i'm going for i'm glad you uh can see it the illegal burrito no it, that was not the illegal burrito all right all right all right we going to Taco Bell for this one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, Tarnished is insanely powerful. He probably killed like any god you throw at the Tarnished. Because he just keeps on coming back. He's like, okay, I'll respawn. You know, even if he were to like lose in a fight, he'll just be like, okay, I'm back. Chug up some Estes, he's fine. Totally unfair. <laughs> Tarnished versus the Hunter. Ooh. Like a one life thing? I don't know. I don't know. I th I think the Tarnished is stronger than the Hunter. Like Hunter, he's got he's just got a gun. Like, yeah, he could just be pull like an Indiana Jones. Like, I imagine, like, uh, the Tarnish, like, Bloodhound stepping, like, Blood Flame, you know, Blade, uh, you know, Bloodhound finesse, like, <laughs> and then the Bloodborne Hunter just, like, shoots him in the face. That would be a fun, uh, someone could make a fun, uh, animation for that. It's weird watching you go through Elden Ring and getting the urge to go back to it after all the Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, I bet, dude. There's this level of immersion of just living in this game world that I haven't experienced since Dark Souls 1. Dude, same, P. Actually, same, dude. Okay, I had that in Dark Souls 2. I had that in Dark Souls 2. You clearly didn't, because you're unbased and a loser. Um, new episode of Dark Souls Pure Black? No, that's canceled. Um, but yeah, no, I, honestly, since Dark Souls 2, I haven't, I haven't 
felt like I've been like living in their universe. Like Dark Souls 3, it didn't feel like that at all. Uh, Bloodborne definitely didn't feel like that. Um, <clears throat> and then this game, it, it just, it, it really does. It feels like I'm completely immersed in this, in this world. It feels like both of us are, we're just, just in it, in it to win it. Dark Souls 3 something was missing. Yeah, I know a lot of people love Dark Souls 3. I know they did, but uh, it, it, I don't know. I think you and me have the same feelings on it. It was just like, I don't know, man. Something about it. It was missing substance. It was horrible. I, I wouldn't call it horrible. I love Dark Souls 3. It just, something about it wasn't like, I, I didn't I didn't want to live in the universe, you know, like like I have in, in the previous games like Like I said, you know, I've only have 2,000 hours in Dark Souls 3 And that it was such a wall there That I feel like that's only because there was such a wall in some soft games besides like Sekiro uh, Which obviously didn't have online, you know, and for me these games thrive uh, from me like, you know going online, co-oping, invading, like. And it didn't have builds. It didn't have builds, so I could build crap, you know. It was fun, but like Sekiro was like a one playthrough game. Like I love it. It's one of my favorite games ever. And like Dark Souls 3 is still one of my favorite games ever too. Like I do love it. It's just, I didn't feel like I was completely immersed in this world. Like an Elden Ring, I feel like this is my this is my second home, dude. Oh, except not this place. This place sucks. I hate this fight so much. I gotta kill this gargoyle. Oh my god, he didn't die. video game as important as other stuff are thank you for understanding oh i blended dude and a lot of juice dude i'm not gonna win I've, I've traded too much it's so hard not to with this damn weapon Ooh, okay that's just cheap <laughs> I think he left right after saying that. That's entirely possible. I ain't seen that move before, honestly. I think that's the first time I've like seen that move properly. Yeah. That was nasty. It's hard to dodge. I wasn't a fan of the night aesthetic. Oh my God. So unbased. <laughs> half, half of my characters are have night in their name. <laughs> Actually. I have a uh, gravity night. I have a uh, blood night. I got, yeah, yeah oh. I, I'm the exact opposite of you. It's so funny. If I see a knight, I'm just like, I'm so pleased. Yeah, a knight beep. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, uh, a a Finally, a use for that. Yeah, for some 
reason from soft sensors night for those of you who don't know even though their game is about nights <laughs> it's obviously they think it's close to uh, another word that we're not gonna talk about but uh yeah I, I i had a man i think their sensor might be a little too strict there He finally let you out of his basement. Yep, yep, he finally let me go. I finally scratched my way to the surface. God, I hate that delay. This fight is not as bad as people make it out to be. I disagree. I hate this fight. It's one of the most annoying fights. Um, but yeah, I had, I had two chocolate chip pancakes um <laughs> this can make me sound so bad i had two chocolate chip pancakes and two eggs two scrambled eggs plus plus bacon i was like dude like it, it came out in like two two plates and i was like dude uh, i i thought this was just gonna be like a side you know like because it was it was in a meal I was like, I thought this is just gonna be like a baby one. It was like, no, it was a whole ass thing. Oh, I said the A word, I'm banned. Darn. It's so hard not to swear. Love how you can barely hear him talk about his pancakes. Oh God, is it too loud? Is the game uh, too loud to compare to it? Yeah, I might have to tone down the game, sorry. That's weird. I've never had to do that. The mic up okay 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 um weird it's just during the boss fight yeah i think that's normal it's fine whatever you guys don't need to hear me go on about the pancake the pancakes were good okay pancakes were good your is usually the loud one yeah it's interesting it's knocking me down oh you know what even if it was i would have to turn the game down because i can't turn myself down kind of drink tea did you get uh they asked for coffee but i wanted a, a coke <laughs> yeah it was a good breakfast coca-cola for breakfast yep yep i i drink a coke when i wake up dude i used to have uh, coca-cola for breakfast all the time instead of a coffee i don't drink coffee or something i know i know it's weird <laughs> yeah Pe Pe <laughs> peeves outing me peeves outing me he said this man has to use to have a coke at his bedside when he went to sleep that's also true it was sort of it was a bad habit obviously them bubbles wake you up i mean yeah yeah they do the they do the job. Is Pepsi okay? No. No, it's not. Give me Coke. <laughs> Peep, how you gonna out me, dude? How you gonna out me? How you gonna out me? 
Yeah, Peep says my, my fridge is full of Pepsi and not Coke. I, I like both. I like both, okay? It's okay to like both. Pepsi is okay, yeah. It was a bit, okay? Pepsi's totally okay. I would never yell at a waiter unless, you know, they deserved it, but I, I can't. Don't know a scenario where, where they would. I know people yell at waiters like they're the chef, you know? Like, why you, you goofed it, uh, you, you overcooked my meal and like, dude, no. It's not the waiter's fault, you dummy. Like, obviously there's a point to complain and get what you want, what you ordered. But like yelling doesn't solve anything, especially the poor waiters who are just trying to help. Like, it's possible they could have, like, you know, goofed up your order. They could have goofed up your order. That's possible. But if it's, like, something that's, like, overcooked, but it was the order you ordered, then it's not their fault. You know, and a lot of people do that, and they're just so dumb. I feel bad for the, for the poor, uh, poor waiters. The betrayal, actually. Yelling at waiters is how you get spit in your meal. True. Probably add some extra flavor, mud. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This, this tastes a lot different, a lot better since you took it back to the back of that kitchen over there. Mm-mm. Think I'll have another just like this? <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> What? <laughs> the special sauce. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. That is actually so disgusting. Okay. All right. Extra goopy sub. Ew. Ew. I do, I do not love the adjective that you used. Goopy. Goopy's not a thing I want my food to be. Or honestly, anything around me. Uh, as opposed to like a slime, you know, like a, a, a fantasy slime. That, that could be goopy. Moist? Oh God. Ugh. Ugh. Shivers, the bad shivers. I, I, I think Peeve hates that word too. It's just disgusting. Dude. It's a gross, it's a gross word. You know, TikTok should ban me for, for saying, you know, the swear words, whatever, man. But like the second I say goopy, they should, they should take me off the platform. That, that should be the, the AI, like beep, 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 beep. Like no more. Don't send this guy to anybody. We don't want to hear goopy anymore. God. A coke addiction? No, I can stop anytime I want. Totally. <laughs> I didn't make the episode. Yeah, it's not your fault. If you search Goopy, this is the top result. <laughs> I see our dude no I don't want to be the goopy streamer left to go that it's so gross like the heat not I'm sure all right we gotta go talk to everybody and Ronnie is like do my quest he says this while his character's head is literally goopy oh god it is though oh no he's right look it is it is it is the definition of goopy Oh! <laughs> oh no! It's it's been it's been me the whole time. <laughs> uh, You've defeated. It's a Goopy again. movie featuring Orboro. <laughs> Yo, 
and Revenant. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 46 I months. Said, Welcome I, back, I dude. What, since we, I, uh, oh, I God. So stupid. Well up, but who? Love how casual the tarnished is. No reason in particular. No, I want the hug. Um, no, I want to be held. God, I hate that line of dialogue so much. Like the whole Thea thing, it just, it's like, oh man. Your pronunciation of my name jump scared me. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I said. Thank you, Revan. I'm, I'm gonna call on you Revan. You're Revan. Can't, can't goof me up. All right. Um, we need to go get uh, the, the room, the fingies, something. Yeah, my pronunciation today has been a little uh, questionable, as as it always is. It's not my strong suit for whatever reason. Oh, dang it! You fine? I'm terrible at pronunciation. I am not fine. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I was hooked on phonics like everybody else. I just, I don't know, man. Something in my brain. Some stuff just doesn't click as easily. Didn't play enough putt putt, dude. I played all the putt putts, dude. I putt putt went to the freaking moon like seven times. Man, dude, Spy Fox? Spy Fox? Those old PC games? Oh, they're so good. <clears throat> that ages me so bad, though. When I say I grew up playing those, I've been officially aged. Uh, do they even have hooked on phonics anymore? Man. Zoom bonies. Yeah, zoomers. Gosh. The way Oro speaks is like how most people type without autocorrect. Wow. It's the meanest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> That's actually so mean. Uh <laughs> It's true. Yeah, it is true. Coming from Evan's lair too. I thought you liked me in my stream. What the heck, man? Trying, trying not to cry, cry a lot. Um, oh God, Night Sacred Ground, right? Yeah, I think this is it. Pajama Sam, dude. Oh man. Yeah, the point and click adventures, dude. They were fun. That's some good stuff. God really, really does age me. All right, we killed the giant. That gonna be a breeze just grabbing this, bringing it back to uh, to Ronnie. What are we up to today? We are finishing my tear monk build. We're finishing my tear monk build. Um, we're sort of like aimlessly like exploring the world, just clearing up everything. Um, but then I think we're gonna we're gonna try to uh 100 percent it all. So I just I just want to open it up so it's a little easier for us. Um yeah, gosh, I forgot that we managed to somehow max out our Estus without going underground or to the snowfield. Like, that's pretty crazy. I forgot that was possible. If you grab, like, every little one before that, it's it's possible. Ah, not believing in my... It is in thy... My thanks soon must... Ah. All right. My Got the statue. Answer. I must thank you, Mail. It was but... What is I, too? Okay. 
Now we can go to Rena's Rise across the way and go underground over there. Fallout TV series. Oh yeah, I heard it's really good. I heard it's really good. I I love Fallout. I actually started streaming uh 15 years ago when Fallout 3 released. That was my anniversary stream day. Another monk build. Did you delete the last one? I did. We're remaking them. It's terrible. Is it that bad? I heard it was good. I will be the judge. I will be the judge. Um, Gumby, thank you for the 74 months. What in the... Did I not rest? Is that what you need to do? Do you need to rest to open it? It should be open now. Hi, kitty. Oh, you don't sound older than 30. That's very generous. What was that? What was what? Hi, Zelda. Yeah, I think I just got to sit. Got to kill the shadow first. No, 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 no. That, that comes after. That comes after. Hi, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda's here. She's so cute. She's trying to end the stream by jumping on the keyboard. Little kitty. You're not strong enough. You don't need the rest? Hmm. I was so mad. I'm extremely mad. Hi, kitty. It's Zelda's turn to stream. Dude, she's right in the way. Like, I can't see anything. So I'm like running into a wall right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get over there. Zelda, you're so cute. I'm, gi I'm giving you pets. I'm gonna try to give her pets while I play. It's very difficult. Uh, my cat is very cute though. I will, I will tell you. Oh, yep, it worked. I told you, I knew this should be open. I had, I had to rest. Lick her ears? That is, uh, no. the hell just a little no bros no no one's gonna enjoy that that's a tiktok comment is literally two two comments above you loud like two comments above you in the twitch chat <laughs> you guys always like to blame the other chat you guys are like, oh, that's a, that's a YouTube comment. Oh, that's a TikTok comment. It sounds like a TikTok comment. It's right there in your chat room. It's in your home. You foolish fool. How dare you try to blame that on something else? It's like blaming my cat. It's like blaming my cat. Like, oh, Zelda did it again. Oh, Zelda, Zelda did it. Oh, the cat did it. You know, she knocked it over. And it was you the whole time. It was you the whole time. And now we're about to get the cat out of the bag. Oh, or is it made fight? I hadn't expected. But now the cat is out the bag. See? Before eliminate the name of I won. I told you. I told you she was going to get the cat out of the bag. Uh, Zelda, you are. You, she got you out early. Gang, you can't wear that. Only mine character can. <laughs> um. But maybe I have clout. So if I wear it and you wear it then you'll get, you know, people will think you copied me. Even if I copied you first. That's how it works. <laughs> Oro having clout. Yeah, I'm joking. Is that similar to goop? No. <laughs> I hate that, by the way. I really hate that. Like, sometimes I have, like, OG original fashion, right? Like, I would say, like, you know, this character, this character, obviously, I made pretty early on. It's based on my Dark Souls 2 character. It's a weird fashion, but I'm not the only person who's, who's figured this out, right? Who's put the mimic tear on the on the monk robes, right? 
it's it's not that hard to come up with this fashion you know i'm sure that maybe it totally made this up on his on his own and i made it up on my own but people will see like my my videos and they'll be like oh my god oh my god he's stealing it he's stealing it he's a fanboy he's an orboro fanboy that's gotta be it it's like well no two people can just randomly you know stumble across the same the same drip there's not that many in this game you know <laughs> there's, there's not a lot of stuff in this game gosh especially with the limited options yeah exactly dude exactly i got that so much in armored core people were like dude Dude, I got this exact same build that Orboro made, dude. He, he he stole it from me. I stole it from him. You know, Orboro clone, Orboro clone. It's like, dude, Armored Core is even worse in that regard. There's only so many different ways to make an make an Armored Core, dude. There's like there's like five five pieces in that game, man. Oh, and everyone's like, I did the exact same build, build for build. Stole my build, yeah stole my build he stole my build yeah it was re really bad in armored core because people didn't understand that there was such limited options that there's only so many ways you can make a missile boat a shotgunner you know they're all gonna sort of you know be the same yeah bbo bbo there's, there's literally like one way to make a bbo you know BBO is just BBO. It's got the same exact thing. And it's just, you know, it, it's a natural progression. Okay, I want stagger. Okay, I'd like a melee weapon. Okay, I need to use the basho arms. You know, okay, I got to use the knock riker legs because they're super fast. You know, like they're going to blend in whether you realize it or not. To be fair, everyone stole the Oro's build in Dark Souls 1. Okay, that one, that one I patented. That one I'll accept. Okay. That was a patented or moral build there. All right. If you use the, the elite knight with the falchion, you know, I'll, I'll accept that as being or copyrighted. I will, I will file a lawsuit. I'll see you in court. I'll see you in court. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's continue on. Belongs to Brandon 505 though. Ow! Stupid ants. Okay, that's. Dude, what? I didn't know he could Halo 2 super jump. What are they teaching new things? <laughs> what the hell was that? I know. I never. I don't think I've seen that super jump. It's so funny. I never fight these damn things. They're so annoying. I just run past. They're evolving. Copyright all your builds and anyone and sue anyone who uses them easy. That's true. That's true. Good idea. Sue Miyazaki. Good idea. Ever seen an ant rider do that before? Yeah, no, they do weird stuff. All the enemies do weird stuff on occasion. You know, they got super rare moves that they do. If you like go a certain distance or a certain condition is met, like you're healing on them or something, then you'll see it and it'll be like, whoa, what the heck? So funny. Who the hell cares? Builds are builds. Yeah, no. I know it's weird. It's weird. People are funny about that. People are funny about that. Um, one thing I hope is that the DLC really adds a lot of new armor, you know? I'm really hoping for, woo, for the Elden, Elden Bling game to get stepped up. Because honestly, Elden Bling is weak, man, compared to Fashion Souls. Uh, especially like oh, Dark Souls Shadow. 2. Thou art weak, the last. man. Tell the two fingers that Rani the Witch cometh. Drend thy flesh. 
with a fearful wound. Nah, to heal. Oh! Oh my god, he canceled out of his animation, the bleed! Beautifully <laughs> My thanks. Wreck. It was more of a challenge than I envisioned. Was it? Now I can finally stand before Killed him like them. two hits. This is farewell, my dear. Tell Blythe and E.G. I love them. Okay. I love how she says Blythe and E.G. and uh, Celibus mod check. Celibus? Love for Celibus? <laughs> Loved your use of the Ar Arty armor with the Alva Helm. Oh my god, that was one of my favorite looking builds. Dark Souls 3. That was some good fashion. That's some good. That's some good fashion right there. It just matched so well. Yeah, I will say even Dark Souls 3 had some good drip. Even Dark Souls 3 had some good drip. Elden Ring, it's got good drip. It's just very samey, and I hate that. Again, I hope they hope they expand on it. That's what I that's what I really want them to do, is I want them to expand on the drip. Dancer dress is gonna be fire. Oh, the new one? Yeah, the red looks so cool. God, to think it's only a couple days left, Chet. What, seven? Only a couple, 70 days left. That's it. <laughs> and we'll be, uh, we'll be playing Chet of the Earth Tree, man. A little over two months. That's insane. Where are you at? We are at the Lake of Rot. We're uh, doing Ronnie's quest line. We're about to go down and uh, fight Estelle. I think we'll be fine. Can you show the map? Sure. Yeah, it's underground. It's underground. The map probably won't help that much, but basically, you know, you do the uh, Radon, Meteor comes down, you, uh, you go in it, you go underground, you fight the gargoyles, uh, kill the gargoyles, then you go here, then you go here, then you get in a coffin over here. It'll take you all the way over here, and then you go down, and then you get the lake around. Uh, there's also another way to do it. Um, you can go um, to Ronnie. You can do Ronnie. You still got to go to the meteor, but you only need to get the finger slayer blade. Give Ronnie the finger slayer blade. Then you take the teleport to Rena's Rise. It'll take you right, right here. And you can uh, sort of skip that bit and go straight to knock uh, knock Stella like around here. So there's two different ways, two different ways to get here. Um, oh, is there even a third way, Chat? Yeah, yeah. There's a third way. There's a third way. Technically, through the capital, through the sewers. If you do uh, Moog, you defeat Moog. There's an invisible wall. You can break it. It leads right down here. Then you can go down here. Then you can take the coffin and again land up over here. So three different ways to get here. Goodness. Bro knows everything. I do. I have 2000 hours in the game. I hope so. And I helped write the strategy guide, the official strategy guide um, from Future Press. I'm an author on it. Pretty, pretty cool. Although I would say I'm not uh, super, super uh, proficient in like everything about this game because 
Uh, I'm more of the building, build crafting, PvP aspect. So if you wanna, if you wanna make a build, a good build with optimal stats, I'm your guy. You know, if you wanna kill people in PvP, invade, duel, I'm your guy. Aside from that, you know, my expertise isn't, you know, perfect. But I mean, I could, I could probably tell you more than most folk. Using wing of Estelle against Estelle, that would be fun. That would be fun. It's really good on him because it, uh, Nebula. Ooh, it's really good on big bosses because uh, all of the little stars land at once. It like shotguns them. It's actually so good. Oh, come on. How is that not going to hit him? He's so big. Oh, I goof. He's half my screen. How did that not hit him? I'm going to drink my juice. Yeah, yeah. Chompy's away. Worth it. Actually worth it. Get out of here. He tried to grab me with the tail. Actually get out of here. Big R2. Oh, and we got the stagger. Let's go. Oh my God, the damage. Dude. That is actually just stupid. Here comes the meteors. I'm gonna pop. Oh! We almost didn't get hit by any. Bye bye, Estelle. Damn, that was clean. That was so clean. Well, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Honestly, that's just uh, <laughs> Bloodhound Fang in a nutshell, dude. It's not even maxed out. It's plus eight. We are so back, yo. Popcorn.com. Thank you for the two months, actually, though. Feels good to be back, man. What's special that this build does? Um, so this build in particular is uh, based on all the Nox stretchy weapons. So normally I'd use like an Arumi. Um, I also have uh, the Nox flowing hammer. It like stretches out and like crushes people. It's like, woo, it's really cool. Uh, and, and I have the Nox flowing sword too, which is really cool. It's really bad though. It's it's absolutely terrible. This is probably the worst weapon art in the entire game. It, it is absolutely garbage. Um, but it's a curved sword. So you, that, that's what you can say about that. Need snack shield? No, it's not a knock stretchy. Like it does stretch, but I'm not getting all the, the stretchy stuff. It's gotta be thematic, you know? Um, okay, let's grab Ronnie's ring. Does it roll catch? Um, I mean, everything roll catches if you time it properly. Roll catching is just hitting someone in their roll frames, you know? Like when, when someone rolls, they have iframes and at the end of their roll, they're vulnerable for just a moment. It's just hitting them in that frame. So literally anything that can damage can roll catch technically. Uh, some stuff is definitely easier to roll catch than others because it has more active frames and it requires your timing to be less lenient. Also, lag. Lag's a big thing too because if someone's lagging, uh, they actually have more iframes than they should. So, <laughs> if someone's internet sucks, basically they're invincible for longer. So, uh, weapons like uh, great, great spears with lots and lots of active frames on their attacks are really good against people lagging. They're just consistent, consistent weapons. You know.
and that that's why like some weapons just feel better than others against more players that's because they have more active frames to actually hit people chat do you think adding more active frames to weapon swings would be the solution to uh the laggy players do you think that would fix a lot of the issues even if it didn't make sense like if you swung and then like you know there was a bunch of active frames anyways even though your your blade was gone do you think that would that would actually fix the the pvp a lot of the pvp problems i think it would but pve it would be weird because you you could swing and then something could walk into you and it would die lingering hitboxes exactly it would it would it would be the definition of a lingering hitbox that feel bad i mean it would it would feel i don't know on a good connection it would feel bad on a bad connection yeah i don't know i don't know it might it might feel it might be a terrible idea but there's obvious reasons why they don't would it also apply to bosses or just pvp if they could somehow separate it for pvp that would be amazing but there's no way to tell like who you're swinging at right so it would have to be for the whole game how did dark souls 2 handle lag that worked pretty all right uh it sure didn't it was terrible if someone was lagging in dark souls 2 like <laughs> it, it, it could be pretty bad they would they would teleport around there's some crazy stuff that happens uh i would say it happened a lot less often than elden ring and dark souls 3 but i think that's because the players legitimately it moves slower i think it's legitimately it's because the game was slower and the players move slower so uh yeah the net code is terrible in all the games it's never been it's never been good or like better you know it's not like oh man i missed that bloodborne net code it's all the same it's all the same from soft net code it's just it's not good um okay so looks like we're good i think we should um we should start 100 percenting the game uh let us um let us go for the pots now let's go for the pots i think that's a good thing to do is it bad in armored core six two it's real bad in armored core yeah that's one of the reasons i uh i quit playing like obviously i got triple s rank i you know got in the leaderboards all that shebang but aside from that it was just Ooh, the net code, man. It really, it really caused some problems. Um, and a lot of it is that they, they put stuff like defender side and attacker side that shouldn't be. Just, it was really weird. Um, even the bosses have phantom slashes. Yeah. yeah it's... Um, I have this game. I'm so horrible at it. You just gotta, you gotta keep at it, man. There's so many different ways to tackle each situation and boss you know um that if, if something's not working out you know go leave and try something else and then come back um that's like the best advice i could give anybody for just trying to get through this game um <clears throat> yeah okay chat i'm gonna be right back okay guys give me just a minute won't be gone long just uh be back one sec guys don't go anywhere.
all righty gamers i am back thank you so much for your patience everybody gosh i really appreciate it told you it'd just be a minute um <clears throat> feels so good to be back streaming again uh elden ring i mean you had any mechanic to elden ring what would it be definitely the um a boss definitely an invader boss like a pvp boss where you can like be the boss or like invade into the boss that stuff's so fun. Like imagine if Tier Monk was controlled by another player, but they had your exact same setup. I was worried that that would make people salty though. Cause they'd be like, man, this guy beat me with my exact same build. Um, like I can't, I can't say he out like geared me. It's just he outskilled me because he's he's got the exact same character. Like people would get mad, people would get so mad. So I I, th I actually don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> it would be funny, yeah. It would be funny though. Spears of the church killed unless they do something completely different. I would like them to do like something really different. PVPers are overall too sweaty. Yeah, I agree. Makes the boss fight uninteresting for casuals. No, I, I totally agree, peep. I totally agree. Um, a, a lot of the PvP ones are just, you know, ruined by people like running like meta stuff and like being completely invincible to your average player. It's dumb. Um, yeah. Console? Yeah, I'm on PS5. I'm on PS5. Um, okay. We are gonna go. Where the heck are we going? Um, oh, right. I was gonna grab, uh, the pots. Pots and not the, uh, not what you're thinking, chat. The actual pots. Let me, uh, let me pull up the map here. Like, I know the game, but I like having the map up. It, it brings me great joy. Um, social media ruined video games? True. I'll take care of the other bots. Uh-huh. <laughs> Drugs are bad. No, I think weed's fine. Um, okay. Anyways. Yeah, I don't do anything fun, chat. I'm sort of a loser, I know. I know. You guys are disappointed in me. I agree every time. Why are two monks hands showing? His head shows that he's in goop form, but his hands are skin. It makes no sense. Peeve, I need to equip this armor, this weapon for PVE. I haven't fixed the build yet. He's not perfect. You should wear the Nox gloves. Dude, look right here, dude. Literally right here. I just, you know, I'm busy. No, no. You think I should wear the other ones? I don't know, man. Favorite PVP YouTuber? Uh, I think I like that Ouroboro guy. I think he's my favorite. <laughs> no, I, I, in all honesty, uh, Chase is awesome. I love, I love watching Chase, uh, G9, Steel, even P when he rarely uploads stuff. Uh, they're definitely my favorites aside from, you know, myself. <laughs> aside from the obvious choice. <laughs> God. Uh, crack pot. Boom. It's crack pot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it now. Okay. All right. We're going to go grab them, chat. We're going to go grab the pots. Yeah. People were saying I need frost pots. I agree with them. Or borrow who? Or borrow who? You watch G9? Yeah, G9's awesome.
Chase the Pro is awesome. Yeah, Chase is, Chase is great. I'm surprised he's not in here, honestly. He's usually in here just calling me names. He likes to do that. He likes to bully me. Not much of a brawl, really. More like a Chase the Bully. That's his real full name. Chase the Bully. I don't know. I'm trying, to, trying to make it clever. It's just not working. Okay. <laughs> uh, Nox bracelets. Might not look as good as I imagined, though. Um, I think I've looked through everything, Pew. I think, I think I've been down this road before. I think I've been down this road before. Oh, we got this one. G9 is a favorite. His mods banned me from his Twitch chat for insulting France. Good. Top bloke. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Chase will never do that. He's super chill. Oh, wait. Just you wait. Just you wait till he comes in here. Starts calling me Mr. Moonvale again. <laughs> Bedbug capital. Is that true? You guys have bedbugs over there in France? That's disgusting. Um, okay. We do? Oh, man. Sorry about your bugs. Oh, I, I see what you did there. I hate it. And I hate you a little bit, honestly. Um, okay. <laughs> they are called be, be bite. A be bite. Oh God, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm gonna get, this is not good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop now. Probably, it's probably for best of everyone to interest if I just stop what I'm doing. Stop the French. No, I mean me doing French. You can leave the French to their own devices. Um, okay, we're going to continue on. I was like, man, the merchant looks a little different. Turtle. <laughs> Oh boy. Are you here as a like, huh. He's changed his hair. Uh, yeah. oh, the sorry. dog? Yeah, you're right. Have have you changed your hair? Oh my god, wait, did the map add a, an official cracked pot thing? I'm seeing like an icon for them. Yeah, I think it updated. Yeah, I think the uh, the Elden Ring map actually updated. They got a freaking icon now. It's about time. You're delusional, probably. Yeah, I think they updated the map. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a sit and I'm gonna look. Um, let's see here. Items. Key items? No. Oh yeah, crackpot. They actually added it. 13. Wait, why is there only 13 crackpots? That's not right. Oh, uh, I think there's, there's multiple multiple at, at certain spots yeah okay all right yeah they, they added them all okay um wait they don't have them all yeah wait they don't have them all they're missing some oh man 
Yeah, they don't have the the first one and the the Merchants might not be on the map. They are though. They are. Kale, they don't have, but they have the other merchants. I'm going to double check like he sells it, right? Yeah, they just goofed up. They just goofed up. He's not on the map. Okay, I'm going to try this and we'll see we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um I think I think everything else is accurate. Yeah, I think everything else is accurate. Oh, they have ritual pots now too. That's super cool. Okay. Um Hmm. Yeah, we'll go up from third church. We'll go the old-fashioned way because we got to get to the one by the tree. All right, Pally. You have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out, dude. You're delusional, Grandpa. I mean, yeah. Wait, no. No. Don't go that way. Mods are gone. Time to post dumb stuff. Even though I can click on your name in five seconds and ban you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and see what happens. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Mother budger. It's so hard not to swear. It really is. I think it's too late too. I think I think the, the ticky tock algo is like you swore too much. You go to jail. Whatever, man. Dark Souls 2 PvP was peak, I agree. I I, I love Dark Souls 2 PvP, man. Oh, I, I still go back and play it every now and then. Wanna stream it some more. You streaming on TikTok again? I am. I am. What a mistake. Wow, it's not a mistake. There's some some OG TikTok gamers here, all right? I'm, tr I'm trying I'm trying to be hip and hopping with the times, okay? It's hard. <laughs> Cannot handle the foul mouth power of Oro. Yeah. I know. Apparently, apparently, if you swear, is it in vertical format? Yeah, it has to be. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be, but that's what I've been told is good. You know, everybody's watching on their phones. They don't want to flip it or else they just, uh, you know, not watch on TikTok. That's the whole point. Oh, God. TikTok streaming is a win. I didn't know you were streaming. Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly. Like you wouldn't even found the stream. I wasn't streaming on TikTok. TikTok's fun. Everybody, everybody's a bunch of haters. You know? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Look at this guy. He's a hater. We're in danger. No! Oh, I ate it. Wow, he takes no damage at all. I die. <laughs> Swears vertically. <laughs> I'm a proud TikTok hater. Listen, listen. I think TikTok is a interesting new platform. All right. I don't hate it. Back on this. Haters. I really don't understand it still. Like all these all these icons next to your guys' names, I don't understand it. Like the I finally understood the uh the roses and the heart and the stuff, like and the ice cream. Like I'm actually actually finally understood that. It took a while, but it, it is for for the in 
the TikTok and and app, it's it's just bits. It's just weird weird bits. Ice cream so good. Stop. <laughs> um okay. We're going to go We're going to go down down uh this guy at the bottom he needs, he's got something good. Um and Chris Chris, thank you so much for that gifted sub to Pink Dumb. Pink Dumb, welcome. Enjoy those emotes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pink Dumb. And Chris, of course. Uh, what's your favorite build of all time? I might copy it. Um, I really like um, just the classic int build, like Dark Moon. Um, Dark Moon Greatsword, like the Ronnie Greatsword. Um, that's, that's one of my favorite builds. Just, just classic, classic int build. Can't go wrong. All right, we are officially done with Limgrave and Kalid for the pots. We can move on. Uh, there is a ritual pot in the ruins here. I think it's uh, right ahead. Um, gosh, the stream has been so great, chat. Thank you for, uh, for joining me for tonight. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. It's been just nice and chill, and it's great to be back. F you? Wow. Not very nice. Not very nice, Peeve. It's not very cash money of you to say that. He was just upset because I left him. He was, he's just lashing out. He's just lashing out. It just ignore him. <laughs> and uh, Alex, thank you for the crown, dude. Crown for the Moonlight Chad Lord. Dude, thank you, dude. Oh my God. Got a crown for the Perry King. Let's go. Um, okay. Jarberg time. Did I, did I grab the stuff in Jarberg? I probably did. Considering I've been there before. Thieves mad you beat Dragon's Dogma too? Yeah, true. That's actually true. He's too slow. His weak baby gamer hands. Can't, can't take him to the end fast enough. That's what's happening. Yep, yep. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> 130 hours, no story. Uh, literally how? There's not even that much content in the game. Actually, one pawn is how. One pawn is how. That'll do it. That's actually psychotic. Okay, I think we got everything. I think we got everything. Um, gotta go to Ray Lucaria now. There's two here. There's, um, ritual pot inside and a cracked pot outside. Yo, to OJ! Holy crap! Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, dude! Iconic artist Whitney, goddess Moon Lily. Scrandom, Sayonar, Soma, Rude Moon, Saber Arrow, Kevin, Lee, Jaws, Stepwick Van, and Ar Artistol 10. Aristotle's. Aristotle's. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the subs, dude. OJ. Um. Well, welcome in, everybody. Enjoy those emotes. I appreciate that. Sorry, I hear OJ now and I think of, uh, well, you know, not orange juice at the, at this exact moment. Big yikes. Oh, I got the ritual pot. 
The volume is mostly fine. You could consider the mic up by 10%, alerts down by 20. Okay. Okay. Um. Alerts down, really? Okay. I will actually do that, Peeve. Thank you. Write that down. Um. They're pretty loud, not an issue, but the balance is off. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I will, uh, I'll definitely sort that out. I'll, I'll do that after the stream, though. It's not a big deal right now. Um, okay. Uh, we gotta go to the, the manor. Um, this one is on the cliff edge, and then we gotta do, uh, pity at two. I could not hear you at all when you were fighting, uh, talking about your pancakes fighting the gargoyles. Really? Okay, that's funny. How's the mimic helm? Because, uh, the came up looked nice, but it couldn't take the dog debuff. Oh, 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 the, uh, the physical damage debuff. Yeah. I was about to say that is not English, but I, I, I deciphered it. Um, the physical damage debuff sucks for sure. Um, but it's my limiter. It's my limiter, Alex. If I, if I, if I take it off, I'll be too powerful. I'll kill everyone in one hit. So I need, I need the debuff to keep me uh, in check, you know. Holy copium anime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> not. Um, it's, it's just not that big of a debuff. It does suck, but it, it's not that bad. Uh, fashion, fashion number one. Fashion number one for me. Uh, so I don't, I don't care too much. I'm good enough that, you know, it, it's not going to affect me, like, too, too bad. Poor little pop buds. If they would just let me travel away instead of keeping me in combat, I wouldn't have to slaughter them all, okay? This isn't my fault. This is your fault. This is not my fault. This is horrifying. <laughs> So many little Alexanders. Bro. Not the pot friends. Yeah, they're all dead. Fashion souls, you got them. My thumbs speak slimless. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Elden bling is for real. Honestly, the most exciting thing about the DLC is new fashion. Like, I just, I just want new armors, dude. I want new, new helmets, new, new fashion. Like new weapons, new spells, new entire subsets of archetypes of weapons. I sleep. I sleep. New fashion, real, true and real. Real stuff, real stuff, I'll say. Not enough armors in the base game. There's a lot of armors, but the main issue I have with them is that none of them look good mixed in with each other. Lots of them only look good with their exact set. And that, that's the main problem is the mix and match ability of Elden Ring is the all, as an all-time low for the Soulsborne series, you know? Feels like uh, all the other games, you know, you can mix and match and you can find some really, really cool combinations. But in, in Elden Ring, it's just... Just not... It's not the case, you know? Best I can do is rusty armor and chainmail painted in blue. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, off to Lindell now. Oh, I should probably buy. I should probably buy. 
from Pidia because he I did just you know take his bell bearing. Hesitant to start another character. Only four slots left. Yeah, it's hard, dude. It's hard to, to, to balance everything. Especially with... Uh, if you're doing like what I'm doing with like um, PS4 and PS5. You only got 20 character slots. Some people have even less. You know? So... There we go. Um, one quick thing I forgot to grab that I want to grab. Right over here. Beast Lord set painted gold, chrome armor. Yeah, there, man, I would just, I would do anything for like a die system, dude. If they dropped the die system, I would, I would scream like a little girl. Um, Astral Beans! Astral Beans, thank you so much for that Prime sub, dude. Welcome! Enjoy those emotes. Thank you. How's it going? I love your name. Um... DLC drops in like 70 days. April 21st. Or not April 21st. God, um... June, June 21st. Didn't know there was a limit. Yeah, yeah. 10 character slots per uh, per platform. If you're on PC, you can just like, you know, move your save files, like whatever. Um, But yeah. Uh, What does that one run thing do? Looks like a moon. One run thing do. Looks like a moon. I, uh, I, no, the rune. Oh, the rune. Um, ruin. I, I don't actually know what you're on about. No, the one run thing, rune arc. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I have no idea. Um, and Pikachu Brawl, thank you for the two months. Thanks for that resub, man. How's it going? Ruin once you kill a red boss. Kill a red boss. The oh, the rune arc. You mean what does a rune arc do? Oh my god. Okay, rune arc. Um, depending on which great rune you have equipped, it gives you different abilities. Uh, I don't actually have a great rune, and also you can't see my menu um, because it's a vertical, but. Um, yeah, depending on your great rune that you unlock by defeating big bosses and going into these, uh, these towers, you see these towers on the map. So like you kill this boss, you go across the bridge, get to the tower. At the very top is the great rune. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think even with, without it, does, 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 does rune arcs get a, a passive bonus? Um, even without a uh, great rune equip? I don't know if they do. I don't know if it does. A slight HP increase. Oh, it does. Okay. 10% in HP increase. Okay. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. They don't? I didn't think they did. Godrix gives plus one to all stats. Godrix gives plus five to all stats. If it was only plus one, it wouldn't be very good. Yeah, Godrix is insane. Um, okay, we gotta go, we gotta go up. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way. I think they do. Yeah, I, I just, it's been so long. You know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's see. 1975, on, on rune arced up. It went up. 2,173. Yep. It do be going up.
It's been such a long time since I used the rune arc. You know, we just hoard him up. What rune arc? Like I said, I don't even, ha I don't have a great rune equipped right now. This is without a great rune. This is just naky. Um, ah, forget it. We'll, we'll run through. This one is, uh, Oh, no, no, no. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going for something else. I think there's a... Oh, God. This is bad. This is really bad. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, no, I was going the wrong way. What was I headed to? What's, what's up there? Something's up there. When am I going to play Dark Souls 1 again? Oh, man. I don't know. If I play Dark Souls 1 again, I'll probably speed run it or just do a chill playthrough. A bottle. It's a perfume. That's it. That's what my brain is, is telling me to go. Yeah, no, no. This one's over here. This one's literally, it's right here. I, uh, I fell the wrong side, but I, I had the spirit. I had the spirit <laughs> crack pot right there. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I give myself an A plus for effort. I give myself an A plus for effort. Um, we haven't been downstairs. We got to go. Um, we got to go down to the, uh, the sewers. Let's go. Yeah. A plus plus wood rune arc again. Dark Souls 1 speedruns are so fun. Yeah, I just love that game, man. I could play it a hundred billion times and never get bored. Elden Ring speedruns were pretty hilarious once they're hitting under the eight minute mark due to teleport glitches. So the thing with speedruns <laughs> that I find really funny, people, uh, well, I say people from soft hate speedruns so much. Hates, hates, hates. Um, OJ, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Thank you to OJ. Hype train, let's go. Um, so every single FromSoft event or thing that we we, we went to, they always say, don't speed run anything. Don't glitch, don't exploit, don't go fast. Do not speedrun this. Don't speedrun that. Don't go fast. They hate, hate speedrunners. They hate it. Because they think it makes their game look bad. They think it like, it's like it, it, it ruins the integrity of their games. You know, it's like, it's like it makes it literally, they think it makes it look bad. And distortion took that personally. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Like I get it to an extent, but also like speedrunning is amazing. It's super fun. People love, you know, finding the fastest way to play your game possible. And I think you should celebrate that. But FromSoft hates speedrunners so much that they go out of their way to actively screw them. It's crazy. They, they'll patch a tree to make them slower. Or like a run harder or longer. It's just so weird. They'll patch like a skip that no one else does, but speedrunners. They'll be like, nope, have fun. Like, no, you're doing it the, the old fashioned way. Really weird, man. It's really weird uh, how they view speedrunning. Like I'm still not over it. Um, oh my god, a Pikachu Brawl! Thank you for the 1,000! 100 bids, dude! Thank you! Rip Bozo Kiln Glitch, dude. All of them, man. All of them. It's crazy. If you build a game and someone figures out how to skip 90% of it, you'd be a little salty to see all that hard work just to get skipped. 
but also speedrunning is so fun but that's the thing is that most speedrunners have played the whole game you know they're not just it's not their first rodeo you know like i know that that that's part of it that's definitely part of it Oh God. Nintendo did something like that. Nintendo hates everybody. That's not a surprise. They just hate everybody. They hate people who support their games. They hate people who play the games. They hate people who stream their games. They hate people who create games about their games and they hate video games. And honestly, I think they hate each other as well. So. <laughs> so that's a bad example. What do you think after Elden Ring DLC from FromSoft? I I speculated, and this is this is crazy. Uh, I speculated that they're working on on Miyazaki's MMO, like a big Souls-like MMO. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Oh, it's so dumb, Orbor. It's so stupid. You're such an idiot." But hold up. Hold up, another believer, even P believes, dude. Because Miyazaki himself has said that he has interest in making an MMO one day. And he said this like seven years ago. He said that he's loved uh, online games like, uh, what did he say? I think he said Ultima Online. I think he said Ultima Online, he played Ultima. <laughs> Me and him are best friends. Yeah, right, Eve. You guys are losers. No. <clears throat> one of you. One of you. Eve, you guys are not best friends. Especially after you leaked his, his private phone number, okay? I don't think I don't think you guys are on speaking terms anymore. After that one. <laughs> Bitch, you can't prove that. <laughs> wow you're really gonna gaslight me after, after all that okay after we help cover cover up the evidence yeah, all right god so for those of you who don't know um you know me and peeve met miyazaki we met god we did um back in Dark Souls three days in, in 2016. Uh, actually, I think it was 2015 because I think it was a year before it came out. Uh, regardless, you know, we saw Dark Souls three for the first time before it was out. It was awesome. Uh, we get to meet Miyazaki um, and Peeve got his business card, right? And he was so excited in a blind nerd, in a blind nerd hype. He posted Miyazaki's business card like everywhere like on the internet i was like no and we realized it we realized it quickly and like oh no okay he tweeted out he tweeted out his business card he tweeted out a picture that's that's everywhere if i hate to break it to you the second you do that it's everywhere i'm surprised we don't see it to this day you must have deleted it pretty uh, quick enough but he, he, you know, he realized what he'd done. <laughs> Just really funny story. And I feel so bad because the, the, what I, <laughs> P, P, Miyazaki's probably still getting phone calls from like all these like a uh, crazed nerds just because of Peeve's like mistake. Like, oh my God, Miyazaki. Peeve tweeted out your card and I got your your phone number. I'm your biggest fan. I love all your games. Like I can just imagine him like getting phone calls like that. He probably can't even understand them because they're English. You know, just a bunch of nerds just calling him constantly. He's like, oh man, damn it. He's like, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have talked to that, that kid. Oh shit. You know. <laughs> Oh, I swore dang it there goes the algo fine um just so funny you couldn't read it 
the lighting was awful i know i know it was a bad picture but it was still funny okay i'm still traumatized stop talking about it peeve you defied god dude is literally like blasphemy that's that's as blasphemous as it gets dude like man you you, you should repent repent for your from soft sins <laughs> doxing god himself actually dude like are you gonna dox god man so funny. I made a shrine for it. Uh, God. I still call him every night hoping he'll answer and tell me his secrets. Yeah, one day. Miyazaki, where's the, where's Bloodborne on PC? When is it going to happen? Please. Oh. <laughs> it's not even in his hands. Just bothering him for no reason. <laughs> Are you doing invasions? I might do. Might do. Let's switch it up. Yoink. No promises. Oh my god, he almost grabbed me. Whew. Me likely stealing from him in Ultima Online. We're best friends. I'm sure he loved that. I'm sure he loved when you stole stuff from him. What are you wearing? Uh, excuse me? Pervert? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm wearing silver tear mask, black flame monk armor, uh, greaves, and I would be wearing the gauntlets, but I have them off for the moment for, uh, I'm doing stupid stuff. Did you hear Miyazaki said there's a one secret we haven't found yet? I feel like he's like trolling. He's doing the trolling thing that he does, you know? He's like, oh man, you know, you guys haven't found the pendant yet, man. I'm so surprised you haven't found the pendant. It's like, dude, we data mined this whole game. There's nothing we haven't found in the two years. You're a liar. Shut up. I don't believe you anymore, God. Giving me the business, not even the real mode. Ow. Worth it, worth it, worth it. I regret nothing. <laughs> Step one face tank. Profit. No, no profit this time. Just beat my butt. <laughs> Step three, dime. <laughs> blood fire not working so good on the blood fire. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it actually does work pretty well on him, but I'm just... Oof. Oof. Thank you, Nightbot. Okay, that range. That's some baloney. That's some baloney right there. That's the malarkey, chat. That you guys said earlier, that's malarkey right there. Worth it. Stop putting your juice all over me. Disgusting. You heard me, did I stutter? God, that 
the lame. I think Moog is one of the worst uh, bosses for the the Omega like the late flat the Elden Ring classic. Look at that swing. That's so ridiculous. Homie spams flask at full health. I was not full health there. I hate to break it too. Oh. That's trade error. Worth it. Holy moly. Not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Oh my god. He's going ham. Woo! Okay, that was close. Yeah, I don't know where you get the spam flask of full health thing. You might not be able to see my full health bar. But uh, your boy was not full. Watched you do it twice, bro. Okay. Guess I'm, I'm spamming Estus at full health now. Um, After you know playing this game for 2000 hours okay although you really you think i'd be better at moog after 2000 hours too so um but I, I i can tell you for certain that definitely uh did not happen yeah he, he can't see the hp bar because the the screen gets cut off so he thinks it's full health but it's it's more than he can see <laughs> <laughs> like and i i, I yeah. Okay. Gonna continue on. Cope? Okay. <laughs> Who's coping now, brother? <laughs> Truth hurts. Why are you such a dick, dude? What's wrong with you? All right. Easy quit out. I hate this part. I do too. Um, let me, uh, let me chuck. What did I get? Ah, whatever. Wasn't important. Lol. He just says lol. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's slipped the banana peel put was there <laughs> god <laughs> i hate this part dude i literally turned and it shoves me off i hate this part so much speed run strats actually god it this little plank is the worst okay um jump here if I backstep it, it, you fly. Like, look how far you wee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to backstep here. Might not, might not go. Why are you resetting the game so I don't die? Oh, brilliant. Ah, uh, just not enough there. Yeah, every every time I stream on TikTok, I get people like that. It's really weird. I get people like that everywhere, but it's especially true on TikTok. People are like, "You're so dumb. You're so bad at the game, bro." I don't know. It's weird. Zero death playthrough. It's fucking not. Oh dang it! I swore again. I'm real bad at that. Also, why are you why are you still here? Beep. Oh, we're done. We've done it. 
Jeez. That Renard is very important. Yo, Commander Spike, thank you for the 109 months. Thanks for the resub, man. You get no attention at home. I see that. You know what? Some people, they just gotta, gotta take it out, you know? Take out the trash. Take out. Take themselves out. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. Why aren't you using any of the great runes? Uh, I didn't bother grabbing any because I don't care because they don't work in PvP. Uh, essentially, that's the the end of it, really. Um, okay. So, uh, I just figured I'd do all this because we were right there. Um, but we got to grab the last two uh, ritual pots here. Uh, oh god, last few. I forgot. There's uh, there's some in the... Uh... Oh gosh, let's go. Uh... I'm actually going to do the giant mountaintops first. Moog's rune works. Go get it. Yeah, it works, but it sucked. Why are rune arcs important then? They're not. Not for PvPers. That's why it's weird they're a reward. Because, you know, you invade, you get the rune arc, you think it would be, like, you know, meaningful to invaders, but... No. It's good for PvEers to, like, promote them to invade, but it's really not, you know... It's really not that valuable, I don't think. I think they could do better with uh, the PvP rewards. Have you played Bloodborne? I have! I love Bloodborne. It's one of my favorite games ever. I only have 700 hours in it, so I'm sort of a casual compared to uh, all the other games. I have like, you know, 3,000 plus. But uh, in my defense, I like doing PvP and Bloodborne PvP is, well, it's rough. You know, half the time it just doesn't work. You're sitting there ringing your bell like an idiot. Like, ding, 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 and nothing happened. Uh, I love the PvE though, so fun, so good. And PvP, honestly, when it did work, it was fun. It just that matchmaking was like something was something wasn't right something was not right with the matchmaking you know it's funny they're gonna bring it back they're gonna remaster bloodborne one day you know 10 billion years from now um and um yeah it'll just uh, it'll have the same online problems It'll, it'll have the exact same online problems as uh, the previous one. Um, I'm worried about that. I'm worried that they're not going to fix the uh, the PvP and the matchmaking and and the Bell Maiden system. It was so bad. Like, if you didn't want PvP, you just killed a, a mob, and then you never saw PvPers again. And that was it. <laughs> and that, that was it. Um, also, I am, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. I hate this dungeon. No one done a PvP mod for Bloodborne yet? Um, no. Oh, I think it's right there. You could charge the backstab and land it as the maiden spawn. Yep. Yep. So you'd never ever get invaded. You're fine. Yep, I sure am. I'll just uh I'll I'll bounce out of here and I'll use the uh the thing. You guys are gonna you guys might cringe and die because I'm gonna lose all my souls, but it's fine. I do that anyway in real life. I sit here and ring my bell and hope someone will bring me water finally, but no one ever does. Guess you'll dehydrate and die. Are you still friends with Dark Salvation? Um, 
I I don't know if we were ever friends. I don't really know the guy, but he's he's, he's fine. Um, yeah, I don't know him personally. Um, beaten Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne, but Elden Ring's given me the most trouble. Really? You should try changing up your strategy. Just like change up your build, like run around in a different area and try stuff. Because I, 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 it's funny. I feel like Elden Ring, it, it can be hard, but it depends on like, you know, it really heavily depends on your build. Um, yeah, and God level your vigor for the love of God. Yep, Peeves right. Level your vigor. Where did you go? Um, I went to the, the dungeon to pick the pot up and then we, uh, we homeward bound really out of, out of there. I forget what it's called. It's a cry for help, Oro. Help me. I need water. I'm, I'm busy gaming, man. I ain't getting you water. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't getting you anything. Get it yourself. No. <laughs> Horrible. Um, okay. All right. Let us head to the final destination, which is, of course, uh... Oh, the Azuria side tomb. Truly the worst place ever. Yeah, are you near any rivers or lakes? You can jump in. <laughs> you can jump in a lake. <laughs> What's your favorite FromSoft game? My favorite video game of all time is Dark Souls 1. Um, Elden Ring close, close second. I have decided. He means Dark Souls 2. I love Dark Souls 2, but um, the PvE is not my favorite. Like, it is fun, but compared to the PvP, which is, of course, perfect, but it's not enough for me to, like, love the game as much as Dark Souls 1. It's just not. I would say maybe Dark Souls 2, maybe third on my list if we're, if we're doing a favorite list. I love 2. Usually do strength build. Ooh, it's pretty rough in Elden Ring. <laughs> There's some good strength stuff, but you got to be very, you know, particular about it. Charged R2s do work on bosses because they're big stagger. Um, not the game itself, just how the game plays. Yeah, that's understandable. It's different for sure. Yeah, El Elden Ring actually does derive a lot from Dark Souls 2. I remember calling Elden Ring, uh, you know, Dark Souls 2, too. It's the closest thing we're going to get because of the power stance and stuff. It's cool, you know? They took some of the best aspect from 2, put them in this game. Believe it or not. Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 2 haters molding right now. They're like, no, it doesn't. My perfect Elden Ring game, it doesn't take anything from that stupid game. Like, yeah, it sure does. Whether you like to admit it or not. <laughs> They took three good things and put it in. There's Peeve. Peeve number one hater. Only three things. Three stupid things. And basically not even the same game. It's trash. Only three good things. Everything else sucks. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, Peeve. <laughs> what run level do you usually run for PvP? Um, I switch between 200 and 90. Um, 200 I have recently abandoned uh, for, for level 90. Most invaders like lower levels though. They like around like uh, 50 to 70, they recommend. Where are you going, bud? Uh, 200 is really fun. It's just a little too psychotic. Um, I, I, I'm beginning to not like it, personally. Um, just because of all the, uh, the, the, the spam up there. It gets, it gets real, real obnoxious, uh, more often. More often than, uh, the other, the other, uh, levels. 
from my experience, but, you know, each their own. 200 is a really good level to invade. Still, it's one of the better ones. You just want to invade. You want to avoid the meta levels unless you're using a meta build. My character is level 498. Oh, that's it? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Dual people at 200? Yeah, uh, you can duel uh, You can duel at 200 too. Isn't 150 the rune level? No. 125 is for duels. 150, a lot of people go to them. It's like a casual meta. But uh, for, for serious competitive PvP, everybody goes 125. 150 is the Reddit meta? Yeah. I I, I think I think 150 is a little silly. Um, but a lot of people like going 150. Um, but the meta is for dueling. Those metas are for dueling. And like co-op and, and stuff. Not, not invasions. Um, and technically, again, there's no meta for invasions. Uh, because you can invade at any level and still get people going through the game. Um, and because of that, every level is viable. However, again, there are better levels than others because of different reasons. The, the damage level, of course, you know, you got to keep your, your weapon level in, in line with your, with your actual level. Because uh, weapon level actually plays a part into your invasions too, if you didn't know that. Oh gosh, we, we got to go back. We goof. Um, so you got to be careful on your up on your upgrading. If you upgrade your weapon too far, you're not going to get anybody at the lower levels. What what level would you re recommend for fighting the Serpent King boss? Um, you should probably be around level like 60, 70 before you go to uh to try to defeat Rykard. He's he's a strong boss. Uh, I'm totally lost. I'm totally lost. I think this is the other place. I'm gonna go check. Is Kitty up here? Oh, oh, Pop Boy is. This is perfect, though. You know what build you're going into the DLC with? Yeah, I'm gonna take in my uh, Dark Moon Knight build. My uh, Int build. For sure. I use the uh, Dark Moon Greatsword. At what level? Actually, I'm actually thinking 125, beam. Because then I can just go up if I need. I actually might make a, like a 125 and, and try to be the DLC with him. I think it, sh it should be a little uh, difficult. We'll see. We'll see. If only you still had a 200 shame. Yeah, it really is a shame, isn't it, Peeve? Real big shame. Gosh, Peeve, Peeve is so obsessed with this debate, dude. He hate, he hates that I deleted all my 200s because I hate, like, I didn't like 200 anymore. What's up, Millennium? Blade of Mikula. Please don't waterfall me. You have a breakdown of your builds on YouTube? I do. I do. Um, uh, uh, I'm sort of waiting on the DLC to have like proper breakdown videos. Uh, I will admit. Um, but the stats and stuff are there usually at the end. You're going to remake them on another account. It makes no sense. Just make the 90s there. No, because I'm making other characters, Peeve. I am making other characters. All right. And I might not remake them. Deleting a character is insane. I agree with Peeve. I am crazy. Oh, no. It's Chase. <laughs> Embrace 139 for the DLC. No. No. I won't do it. Also, I think we have all the pots now. Have we done it, Chen? Let's see. 
Oh no! We're missing a ritual pot. Where? Okay, so so this it probably said there's like two. Oh man, yeah, I I got everything. Let me um let me type it in. We got the giant jar one two seconds ago. So we got we got the Azuria one. Oh, that sucks. Um and the corpse in the sub yep, we got that one before the elevator. In a room with a giant pot. Yep, got that one. So we got all the early ones. Three. Uh, Pitya we bought. In the room we got. Garberg we got. Virtual pot we got there. There's only one other one. The one in Luxshire Ruins. I thought we got it. I swore we got this one. We're going to have to go down the list. There's two in Azuria side tomb. Is there actually? I might. I may have not got that one. I think I may have goofed up. Yeah, I think you missed the other one in Azuria. Is there actually two? Oh my God, you're right. You're right. The map goofed up. I was. I was following the. Um, because they added a new thing on the map. I trusted the map and it said there was only one. Oh, uh, man. I think I know where it is, too. Thank you, chat. This place sucks. This is the worst area. It is. It's so... It's rough. Not a fan of it. Yeah, I think we got to go like through like two loops and then it's like up the uh, the ladder the big ladder We already got the one in the big pot Yeah, it's definitely here. Oh my goodness. What's up Raph? Thank you so much for the raid oh! Worth it worth it worth it not worth it not worth it Oh my god, we're gonna die. I thought this made us invincible. It does not. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. From Raf's stream. How's it going? How's your stream? I think we gotta open this up again. I think that's a secret. And then it teleports us to the, to the bottom. No? Very big lore. Okay, okay, okay. Love the lore. Getting so big brained, someone said it was stupid, which was funny. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> and uh, Astral, thank you for the prime sub, dude. Um, wait. Okay, and I think this will take us to, to Superland. I think this one takes us to Superland. Nope. 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 I'm completely lost. This makes no sense. Okay. <laughs> Magma Blade. Good. Magma Blade's amazing. I've had this game since launch. I'm just now starting to play it. Dude, it's... There's never... It's never too late to play Elden Ring. Um. Oh my god. I think this is it. Maybe. Or is, is this is this where we were before? I think this is... I don't remember. I don't remember. My brain's too rotted. Where are you going? I don't know. Oh! Wait, I think this is it. I think this is actually it. <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm going. That's the whole problem. This is the way. I think this actually is the way. I think this is no copium. This is it. Because then you got little doggo up here, right? Yep. 
Yep. No dogo. No dogo. It's just big boy. Yep. Got it done. Oh. You sound like Joseph Joestar when you go, oh. Oh. <laughs> I do, don't I? Oh, no. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Help! Error, it's stupid memory of grace. It's the memory of grace. I've never read that item ever. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so good. Uh, it's so fucking good. Oh, I swore again. I am not built for TikTok. I can't not swear. Whatever algorithm, take me. Send me to super jail. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Were you trying to get to? I was just trying to, uh, I was in the Azuria side tomb. Trying to find the, um, trying to find all the pots because we're making the frost pots. We finally got all of them. So now I just need to get the frost pot recipe. Uh, does anyone, oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. It's in uh, frost pot recipe is in carry a manor right on the right on the side should be ice cream so good ice cream so good until TikTok bans me. Are you a blood build? Believe it or not, and technically no. I mean I have blood flame blade, but uh, when you say bleed build, it usually entails like having like a bit of arcane. Um, but this build is more of a dexterity build than anything. Why the arcane mask? Um, so I'm stupid and I think it looks good with this fashion. Like I like this character. <laughs> it's, just, it's just for looks. <laughs> so I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, it does actually. Thank you. Looks great. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it basically has nothing, nothing to do with the arcane and the stats. You know, you see this helmet and you instantly think bleed. I'm, I'm about to see a rivers of blood. I'm about to see, uh, you know, dual, dual scavenger curved sword, some sort of bleed build. Um, surprise. It's a dex build with arcane that I'm not even using giga Chad. <laughs> uh, uh, it's one of those builds. This is the closest thing to a P build I have, honestly. Wearing something for fashion is so base. Thank you, Raf. It is pretty base, isn't it? I think so. Are you using the dex tier? Um, I am not. I am not. I actually don't value um the stat tiers. Um, because other tiers are if you can avoid needing to use the stat tiers. Um, especially at lower levels. Um, it's better to use the tiers that give you stuff that you can't get with stats. Uh, for example, I'm using the Crimson Bubble tier that heals your health when you're low. No spell can do that. No amount of stats can do that. Uh, that is insanely, insanely strong in PvE and PvP. Um, you know, you do get bursted down through it with bleed exactly. Um, a lot of the time, but when you don't, it just, it's super strong. Um, I also have the winged crystal tier, which gives you something you could get with stats, but you're unlikely to get with like, you know, a plus 10 stats, which you actually can't. Um, in this case, I'm getting light rolls, um, which is below 30% equip load, which allows me to roll further. This is normal rolls. This is normal rolls. This is light rolls. The difference is subtle, but it is there. And in PvP, it makes a huge difference. Huge difference getting away from three people trying to throw you in the blender. It's uh, invaluable. It's insanely strong. Um, so, yeah. There's my uh, explanation on my, on my tier choices. Uh, very nerdy. Very fun. Very cool. Um... What new game? This is just normal new game, actually. I'm still in my first new game. I haven't went to new game plus. 
Um, we are going to chuck these and make some frosty pots. Toxic light roller, true. There we go. Brilliant. Now, um, now let's, uh, let's clear all of, uh, Limgrave, shall we? Um, and then we'll do some invasions, we'll do some invasions. So let me, uh, let me toggle sight of graces and, uh, we'll go grab them. Gosh, there's a lot. Okay. Start from the bottom. I see that helmet and I just think, wow, this man is quite fashionable. You don't think that. I see this helmet and I think, oh boy, another bleed build. Try hard. <laughs> That's exactly what I think. <laughs> you know, it's good. This gives the same vibes as uh, Vare's mask. Except I actually look good with it. That's the difference. I get one shot out of the blood build. Yeah, bleed is dumb. Bleed is real dumb. Try hard helmet. Yeah. Dragon build. Yep, you're about to get dragon breath. You're about to get dragon breath, which is equally as unfun. Bleed has been nerfed three times, do I know? They, they just can't fix it, dude. They don't know what to do with it. They made it way too strong. They were like, let's make a stat that scales bleed up. That's a really good idea. And then let's have overleveled phantoms not be properly scaled down. That's also a really good idea. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Goodness. They, they nerfed it hard in Dark Souls 3, I remember. The Ankiri and Obadachi basically like got removed from the game. It was really sad. I think they nerfed it even too hard. Will you return to Lords of the Fallen? Probably not. Um, however, however, there is a, um, a new game plus update coming out. Uh, and when that releases, I will definitely come back and try it. They're doing like some cool new game plus stuff. Like I, I think they're doing like in-game randomizer they're trying to put in. Um, it's on the roadmap. It's really cool. We'll see. I worry about that though. Like in-game randomizer, like randomizers have to be like reset. You know, because because it gets too random, you know, like sometimes you can't progress, you know, it's just like too psychotic. So I'm a little worried about that if you can't like constantly reset it, if it's just a one and done. We'll see. Oh, you know, what? I, I goofed up. What is the recommended vigor stat for level 60 and 90? 60. 60 vigor always, no matter what. You're like, but or boro, no buts. 60 vigor. Get 60 vigor. Yeah, at basically any level, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna grab the stone sword key here. I forgot about it. I need I need to grab him. No buts? Yeah, no buts. Why are you blocking the entire time? ADHD? No, no, no. It's not ADHD. You might think that at first glance, but I will show you my the method to my madness. Okay. So yeah, a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm why I'm blocking all the time. Um, not ADHD. It's not weird habits. It, there is a purpose. So if you're sprinting, if you're sprinting and you touch back. There's a thing called a pivot. You lose control of your character completely. In PvP, this is very bad. Very, very bad. You know, if you're if you're doing stuff and you pivot, you're 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 done though. One second is all that it takes for you to be Omega dead. Let me kill these stupid slimes. Let 
Let me go somewhere else that isn't out to murder me. To explain this quickly. So, um, well, if you block, you don't pivot ever. You have full control of your character, even holding back. No pivots. That's, that's one benefit of blocking. Look at that. And if I stop the pivots, you get instantly get the pivots again. Um, I never knew this. Yeah, it's a very, very not well-known thing. Now there's another benefit holding block. And this is honestly, this is the more important one. Uh, that I do for PV PVE is that there is something called jump decay in the game. There's something called jump decay. If you jump, if you spam jump, your jumps are going to get weaker and weaker and weaker. And you're going to do little baby weak jumps eventually, you know, your jumps are going to be like baby weak sauce. Okay. Like no distance at all. But if you hold block, You'll get the full jump distance and jump height every single jump. No matter what. That's nutty. Yeah, it's nuts. So you, 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 you bypass the jump decay by block canceling. You see it. You see how, how, how quickly I'm jumping. This is, this is with block tech. And then this is normal. You see like instant slowdown. And then without it, it's crazy. You just got to give it like just a second to actually like block. So two main reasons. Those are the two main reasons I hold block while uh, running around. Hope you've learned from this quick Orboro tutorial of random Elden Ring tech that you know nobody needs to know. Bro knows literally everything about the game. Like I said, I wrote the strategy guide. I better had. I better had, right? It was it was literally my job. <laughs> I I put in a lot of cool PvP tech in the in the strategy guide too. Um, you know, stuff that you wouldn't normally uh you know, here, put it all in, the, in there. I'm very proud of that portion. Who published it? Uh, Future Press. Future Press. It's the uh, official Elden Ring strategy guide. Uh, Books of Knowledge, they're called. There's uh, part one and two. There's so there's so much we had to split them up into two freaking books. Where can I get it? Uh, Amazon. Uh, you can get it directly from Future Press. It's everywhere. At least you didn't write the IGN one. <laughs> oh God, that one needs a rewrite, man. <laughs> that one, that one needs, that one needs a, a rewrite, a rethought. Holy crap! Don't even get me started on the IGN strategy guide. I'll be here all day. I'll, I'll mauled so hard. Oh my goodness. Reminds me of the Ronnie glitch on the tower. The tower that has their clothes. Oh, the one where you can like jump around. Yeah. Yeah, it's goofy. Oh, God. And also, uh, turn to welcome in, dude. Sorry, I was going on a bit of a tutorial tangent there. Gosh, I had the funniest comment chat. Someone is yelling at me. Uh, you know, I made that video bashing the IGN guide. You know, saying it was calling it out, saying it was like garbage and just making fun of it. Um, someone, someone commented. They were like, you don't know anything. You, IGN made a perfect guide and you're trying to ruin it just because you're not good enough. I was like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Never knew about the block advantage. 
Have you read your Bible lately? My my Miyazaki Bible. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> Which is better, fire or heavy affinity for strength builds? Um, so fire is good up until a certain point around... Um, I think it's around level uh, or when you put in like 34 levels in, right? When you put in uh, 34 levels, uh, that's when heavy starts to be a little bit better than fire. Um, and it also, uh, it depends on what you're doing. Fire is really, really bad because right now, look, it's raining, randomly raining. I would have a massive, I think it's 20% fire debuff. So my half of my damage would be nerfed and that sucks. However, there are a lot of ways to scale fire damage. There's the fire damage tier, which is still pretty potent. Um, there's uh, the fire damage ring you can use. There's there's a lot of stuff um, that you can use to uh, to boost the fire damage on there too. However, however, uh, again, yeah. I think around 34 to 50, it's uh, heavy starts becoming a little, little better. Um, I, I forget the exact point. I have it actually written in the guide, but I don't remember. It's been so long. It's been so long. Um, the TLDR is that fire is good early game. For fire is good first, and then heavy uh, surpasses it at a certain point. IGN is the truth, blasphemer. <laughs> yeah, I hope that helps. Um, again, I, I actually do forget uh, the exact, so sorry about that. Fake gamer. Um, okay, let me uh, let me grab. Oh man, we got to go more tunnel. Gosh, there's a lot. <clears throat> Do you miss Vin and Shin? I do. I do miss Sirosh more than anybody, honestly. That was a, that was a fun, fun time. Quote unquote guide. Yeah, I don't know if the IGN quote unquote guide can be called a guide. It was just a travesty. Flame grant me strength. Oil pots. Yeah. I mean, the oil pots is only good for one hit, but I mean, you can do a really big fire hit see uh you know blasphemous blade uh flame uh fireballs big fireballs so you never gave shin a thumbs up you threw him off a cliff to send him home i did not he fell off on his own devices peeve and then i beat the game with him and then i beat the game with him and it didn't let me spoilers it doesn't let you do it after you beat the game so it's not my fault How many streams have you done in this app? This is the first time I've seen you on TikTok. Not many, not many. Uh, I have a really hard time streaming on TikTok um, because their app like lags my computer. It's terrible. Um, so I can only really do it when I'm streaming console games, which uh, isn't often, honestly. And even then it still lags my stuff. Um, so today I decided to try it again. Um, yeah, I, again, I don't love the app. They're forcing me to use their their TikTok live thing. It sucks. It is just not good. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying to stream on TikTok more. I'm trying to trying to talk to them. I'm trying to talk to uh, my agency, trying to figure out how I can uh, sort of go around and stream more on there. You're streaming on console. So I'm not streaming from the console. I'm streaming from a PC uh, from a capture card plugged into my console. So you're seeing console gameplay right now. Yes, I'm playing on console, but you can't, you can't stream. You know, you, you need a capture card to go to PC to stream from TikTok. You can't stream directly from console uh, to my knowledge. Yeah, that's right, Astrum. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, Peeve. I'll summon your pawn again and I'll give him a thumbs up, okay? Uh, which console? I'm on PS5. I will give him a freaking thumbs up. So many bonfires. Yeah, no, there's a lot here. There's a lot. You gotta grab them all. Damn. Oh, did you do wanna invade me? <laughs> I have an Xbox 360. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, the best console. I loved my Xbox 360, dude. Bro, bro, Xbox 360. You know why they call it that, bro? Because you, you look at it, you turn 360 degrees and you walk away. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite joke ever. It's a classic. It makes no sense at all. It's fantastic. Um, oh my God, I already had this. Oh, nice. Oh, me. It's the original white one. Dude, that's the best one, man. That's the one I had. 360 would just point you back towards it. Exactly. That's the joke. It's so stupid, dude. It doesn't make sense. That's what people used to say to like in the console wars. Back when it was like Xbox 360 versus the PS3, you know, and they'd be, <laughs> that was like the, the PlayStation fanboys like attack. That was their main, their main catchphrase. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I hate Xbox now. I really do. But, uh, back in the day, I'm, I'm sorry. PlayStation, uh, was, was lacking, dude. It was lacking, you know, Xbox 360, they had party chats, dude. PS3 had nothing, dude. You could text your friends. It was horrible. It was crap. Yeah, it had free online. That's what PS3 had. It did have free online. But no, no voice chat, dude. Like, primitive, dude. It was primitive. And yeah, it only had, it only had like one game, dude. Xbox had so many games. PS3 had Demon Souls. PS3 had Demon Souls. Checkmate. It was a Demon Souls machine. It really was. Um, okay. You me a bottle of oil and wrestling, yes or no? Um, no thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. But I'll have to pass. Uh, <laughs> you gotta go north. I know, very disappointing. Very upsetting. You gotta shoot your shot. I appreciate it. I respect it. Middle of Honor. Medal of Honor? Yeah. Army of Two. Oh my god, that game. That game was fun, man. He was fun. Back when Halo and Gears were good. Yeah, Gears of War was fun. Halo was fun. PS3 had Killzone. It did have Killzone and Mag. People forget about Mag, dude. Mag was sick. Mag was the first game with 128 players. It was like revolutionary, dude. They were like, bro, this game does not have 120 people playing it at once. Like no chance does it have that that was that's been unheard of until that moment so cool i beta tested the original kill zone and final fantasy 11 wow okay grandpa all right grandpa let's get you back to bed oro oro haha tiny peen or true that's true i don't know why you're laughing um okay uh let us go tombs ward and tombs ward double double tombs ward god it's so hard to see the damn the damn uh icons i hate it sight of grace icons they do not blend in well or they blend in too well to the to like the map. 
Humongous armored pinors. Um, what? How does your PC run the game? Is it smooth all the time? Heck no, it's not. It's trash. <clears throat> it's, um... It's the anti-cheat. You know, no matter how good your PC is, it's going to lag uh, a little. It's always going to have the stutters. Unless you run, uh, like, seamless co-op that turns it off, right? My first game ever was Halo 3 on my dad's Xbox. That's so crazy, dude. I remember, uh... I remember being in the middle school. And waking up to, um... To Halo, uh, Halo 2. Halo 2, my, my, um... It was like my first big, big, uh, release party thing. You know? And that was like, that was the best. Halo 3 comment was on TikTok. What, what's wrong with that, Peeve, huh? Gosh. Peeve hates young people. Because he's so old and decrepit. It's like, I hate, I hate young people. How dare they be born at a different time than me? I hate them for that. That they can't control her. You're so dumb, Peeve. Go back to bed. <laughs> Damn these kids and their TikToks and rivers of blood. Yeah, shut up, dude. <laughs> Halo and Assassin's Creed is your childhood. Honestly, that's a good childhood, dude. You know, it's an even better childhood, though. We like Fortnite. We like... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chat, I have a story for you. I totally forgot about it until this very moment. My Epic Games account got hacked. Speaking of Fortnite, I was very upset. Okay. I basically failed... Basically failed a class in college to unlock my green light Omega. Okay. Before the, before the season ended in like season three or something stupid all right and that was that was i i someone hacked it they took everything somehow they got in they took all my games all my skins thousands of dollars of games my whole it wasn't just fortnite it was my whole epic games account i was like what it's like how did this happen i got back in i got back into the account and everything was gone and I was like, dude, what? I was like, how? So, so I, you know, immediately put in a ticket. I was like, hey, like, I'm an Epic Games creator. Like, I'm literally part of your creator program. I have a code, you know, for for, for, for the V-Bucks, for the kids. Um, where's my account? Like, here's definite proof that this is my account. Here's, like, a clip from, like, seven years ago, me playing the game, like back when it was like super alpha here's a clip of me like playing the new one like a couple years ago you know i sent them all this proof and they were like yeah no and i was like what i was like this is this is proof that it's mine though like this is my this is my twitter i even tweeted out that my account got hacked i was like i can i can reply to you guys on there if you want to prove that it's me and they were like yeah no and I was like, wow. So I was like, my thousands of dollars of games are just gone. And they were like, um, yeah, you know what? Uh, we're like, we know you're upset. We know you're upset, but, um, yeah, we're going to have to close your ticket now because you're getting upset. I just asked them a question. I was like, why, why can't this is, this, this is my account. I really would like it recovered. They were like, yeah, we can tell you're, you're getting upset. We're going to have to lock we're gonna have to lock close this ticket um goodbye and i was like are you are you serious i couldn't believe it i was i was so mad then i got mad then i got mad after that i wasn't mad until they did that to me i was like are you serious 
I was like, dude, I'm an Epic Games creator, dude. And this is how they're treating me. Imagine how they treat people that aren't content creators, dude. They're never getting their accounts back ever. Thousands of dollars of games down the drain. To be fair, what could they do? I mean, they could give me my account back. <laughs> They, they knew it was mine. It, I gave them 100% definite proof that I am the owner of the account. Someone stole it from me. They could have got it back. And they were like, yeah, no. Um, calm down, sir. Calm down. I was like, dude, what? Like, I'm just asking for my account back. Please, I would like my account back. I, I, I'm thousands of dollars of games gone, stolen from me. <clears throat> You know? It was horrible. That's not how it went. Customer support wasn't able to verify you and close their ticket after giving you three responses. Topic was closed. They closed the conversation. Are, are you the person who got my account back? Because, like, number one, thank you. But number two, that is how it went down. I'm just telling, just telling people how, how it went, dude. That's exactly how it went. I didn't have it for a week, dude. Like, they handled it poorly. The only reason I got it back, I did get it back. The only reason I got it back, I think, is because I'm in GG group. I, I, I messaged my, my, you know, I'm in a, a talent agency. I'm in a, a, like a partnered talent agency. And, um, I was like, Hey guys, this is a last resort. Is there any way you have uh, ties with Epic to help me out? And, uh, they were like, Oh yeah, yeah. We can, we can totally, uh, you know, get you in and, and help you out. Right. And I was like, oh my God, that would be amazing. That would be, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, so they, uh, somehow magically, somehow my account returned <laughs> and he, and then, you know, I got, I got a response to the ticket. Like, hello, this is someone else. Here you go. And I was like, wait, what? The only thing that changed is they found out that I was a big deal. And I was like, dude, imagine someone who wasn't a big deal, who wasn't Orboro with clout, with, you know, a bunch of viewers that got their account stolen. They would never get their, all their games back. That sucks. Because of that, I'm like, dude, I do not want to support epic games in any way shape or form again like i'm not gonna make a youtube video about it i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go you know cry on the reddit forms but i'm gonna tell you guys i'm gonna tell you guys my story because that sucked that was a bad experience um but i got i got my epic gamer account back i can i can flaw stance on the 12 year olds after I, uh, you know, uh, double pump them on Fortnite. So it's all good. It's all good now. Um, all is right in the world. Uh, thank God. So there, there's my, uh, there's my, my story. Shotguns, chat. Shotguns. Jesus. Man, you guys need help. You guys need, you guys need Jesus. I can't, I can't say anything. <laughs> Although you guys are just being disgusting. The hell's wrong with you? Anyways. Anyways. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that was my experience. It was a massive bummer.
Yeah, it really was like the anger management scene. Hmm? Sir, calm down. Is that what, that's what it felt like. Good team. I'm sorry. I mean, I got it back. I got it back. I did get it back, but it's like the lengths I had to go, dude. Um, for, for comparison, my Steam account got hacked. Um, they, you know, they messed with it. I, I opened up a ticket. It got fixed to the same day. <laughs> and this was 10 years ago. My brother, can you please strengthen your passwords? Yeah, it was my fault. I learned the lesson. I learned, <laughs> I learned my lesson. Uh, I definitely learned my lesson there, Rav. Yeah, my passwords uh, have all been gig giga buff. So. Yeah, password, password. It wasn't password. Oh my god. Two shot at him. <laughs> yeah. What's the ticket that you're referring to? Oh, it's like a virtual ticket. Um, that you'd like, you'd, you'd go out, um, at like, you, you, okay, so. If you never heard of like a support ticket, like, uh, let's say, um, you know, you're on, you're on TikTok, good example and um your account gets hacked um and you get back on it and your username is changed to dumb poo poo head um you'd have to open a support ticket with the people working at tiktok they would be like hey we see that your name has changed uh we'll fix that for you you know and you'll do like a back and forth it's like an email to support essentially but it's called like opening like a ticket because they gotta they gotta handle it Um, okay. That's a good way of, uh, explaining that ish. Ish. Um, okay, God, this, this map's giving me a damn headache. So, uh, it's so weird today. Um, okay, we gotta go down to the beach. We gotta go down to the beach. The big beach. What's order up to in the game? I am opening Limgrave on my brand new uh, Tier Monk character. I say brand new, my remade Tier Monk. Really? I haven't got hacked in any way, shape, or form. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, no. I've, uh... I haven't, I haven't been hacked too often. So that was a weird one. I was shocked. I was actually shocked, but I have a lot of cool stuff on that account. Um, when I got back on it, chat, there was all my friends were removed. So if I had you on Epic Games and I removed you, that's why. Um, he, he added a bunch of his people. I think he sold the account. I think he sold the account. Um, he must have. He must have. Because he was wearing like all my like OG stuff, like my Black Knight stuff, which is like season one exclusive OG stuff and I was like man he bought a bunch of skins too he was really confident he would have that one so I got a bunch of free skins because <laughs> he because he spent money not my money thankfully um yeah he spent some money for me so I got free Fortnite skins yay no shot yeah actually <laughs> So happy end, I guess, but also like, man, also man, depressed. Um, gotta do, uh, Stormfoot, Stormfoot. Probably not his money either. Probably not. I'm assuming that the, the hacker or the thief that stole the account, uh, sold it to someone quickly got the money and then someone spent money on that account so that's that's my uh oh all right <laughs> uh 
Uh, that's them's the rules. <laughs> Redeemed the timeout for you, Wolfie. Honestly, yeah. Dude, that was like that was like That was the most like TLDR message I've ever seen. He's like, bad customer support is okay. What happened? This guy, this guy in the chat is going on about how, you know, I, I was in the wrong somehow. And, uh, he's like, yeah, no, it was Oro's fault that he got hacked and support didn't give back their account. He deserved to not have it back and for the ticket to be locked. Whose account got hacked? Uh, my, my Epic Games account got hacked, but I got it back. But it, the only reason I got it back is because, you know, content create, creator privileges, and I don't like that. That's essentially what, what this conversation is boiling down to. Is it, it feels bad, because I bet you there's a lot of kids who get their Fortnite account hacked, and they lose all their stuff. And uh, there's no way for them to get it back. And... <sighs> That that sucks because it feels like they don't care. Literally, they didn't care at all. They were like, "Yeah, no." I was like, "What?" They're like, "Yeah, no, we're not doing that." <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, we can't." I was like, "Why not?" They're like, "Yeah, we just can't." I was like, "Huh?" And like I said, I gave them definite proof that it was mine. And even being an Epic Games cr ep official creator, chat, I'm an Epic Games creator, dude, by the way. You know, uh, use, use code Ouroboro on your V-Buck skins, you know, but they were still like, yeah, no, we don't care. We know it's you. We just, we're not giving you it back. I was like, what? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. It was it was messed up, dude. I was really upset. Because again, I had thousands of dollars of like Epic Games uh, games on there, you know? There's a lot of games that come out that I have to stream that I have, I have to buy in Epic Games because it comes out on there first. Have you created any Epic Games? I have not. Yeah, it is, it is effed up. It is. Oh, well. <clears throat> people like that just hate on hate like there yeah i don't know there's no logic there, there there clearly is not any logic to it um whatever whatever it's fine moving on moving on i i, I thought i would share that because uh i totally forgot about that and i've been i've been playing dragon's dogma i, I didn't really want to talk about it uh in the middle of my playthrough um and god dragon's dogma is so fun on on a way happier side note i i really had fun on that game one of my first playthrough and rocking the same build <laughs> do you have any tips to increase my damage got blood blood flame blade and blood fun bang um level 70 40 vigor 60 vigor get 60 vigor um go super high dex because it scales better with dexterity so level your decks to like 80 and then level your deck your strength to 54 and then you win the game and that's it and then and then and then you do like 7 billion damage to everything and you're invincible congratulations you beat Elden Ring congratulations you beat Elden Ring I have my vigor at 30. I'm level 68. Those are rookie numbers, man. You gotta you gotta pump that up for sure. For sure, zombie. That's important.
um the big the big issue with vigor is that at at lower upgrade levels and honestly at lower stat allocations uh vigor is the best be, be, best pick by farm um because the scaling um doesn't kick in until you have a lot a lot of stats and until you upgrade your weapon higher too so it's like a double whammy um i think we can drop down here yeah it's a little rough but yeah we're fine um i just realized i need to go to the cave put all my runes in the end yeah don't do that <laughs> like spells are really strong and all but at least get to like 40 50 vigor before you go like insane into a damage stat it's real important every point into int and mind yeah 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 i know damage is fun but man if you get hit once and you're dead it doesn't matter how much damage you do and uh there's a lot of stuff in this game that'll just, boop, just bop you and insta kill you so it's just not worth it Yeah, but Ouroboros, you're just bad at the game, dude. I don't have to level up Vigor. I never get hit. Mm -hmm. 30 in Vigor, 30-18 on Strength, 38, 38 on In. Yeah, no, it's definitely time to pivot into leveling a bit more Vigor, for sure. Like, you want, you want 40-50 around there. What's the purpose of getting every single site of grace? Um, you open up every area to invasions, potential invasions. Um, obviously very important for, um, for getting consistent invasions. Uh, again, however, it's not based on the site of grace. It's based on just entering the area. However, getting the site of grace, you might as well, because you, you mark it, you know, you mark it by uh by touching that on the map so you know where you've been so it's like a might as well thing um and hembren hembren thank you for the 130 months dude thank you so so much welcome back oh my god that's insane dude 130 months dude holy crap I'm still in the Dark Souls mindset where I can gradually level up easily. Yeah, definitely not. It's definitely not like that in Eldering. You can always respec, though. There's a lot of respecs, thankfully. And it's a lot harder to, uh, to respec in, in, in Dark Souls, for sure. I mean, some, some Dark Souls, it's impossible to. Have you played Arc Thrones mod? I sure did. I played through the whole thing. I uh, played throughs on my uh, YouTube VODs if you want to watch them. Um, and Twitch VODs. Um. Do I need tanky armor for the build? No, you don't need tanky armor for anything. Like, totally, totally, uh, unnecessary. Um, unless you want to do, like, high-level sweaty dueling. That's the only time your armor matters. Did you like it? Yeah, I liked it a lot. It had a lot of balancing issues. Um, but I did, I did have fun with it. Yeah. I thought it was revolutionary. It's really cool. I think it'll be better when they balance it out and add more to it. Um, and vaguely suggestive. Vaguely suggestive. Thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back. Who's your favorite Marvel superhero? I like Iron Man a lot. I actually really like Iron Man. He's awesome. He's great. Tony Stark is awesome. He's just funny. Um, have you done a sober stream? Never, ever. Always drunk. Totally. 
I don't think I've ever done a, a drunk stream. No, that's not true. I have. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, not really. Not really my thing. Um, Summon Water Village. I think we're almost done with Limgrave, guys. I think we're almost done with Limgrave. It's really exciting. Yo, vaguely suggestive. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Alfredo in VR. Semi pro hater. Arcunos, Reptar, and Black Flag Marks. Welcome. And enjoy those emotes. Thank you so much, vaguely suggestive. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Dunking on people in PvP today? No, not today. Not today. We're getting ready to dunk on people in PvP. Are you telling me Aura is sober? I'm telling you it's it's true. It is true, believe it or not. I'm not I'm not drunk when I stream. I know it's crazy to think. Because I'm so fun and wacky. Impossible. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, we need to grab that one on the road. This is why I don't stream because I have to show appreciation when people gift me. Um, yeah. Wow. Such a pain in the butt. You know what you should do? You should stream. You don't have to, you know, you could just be like, Hmm. Yes. Thank you. Peasant. For your, for your sacrifice, for your contribution, uh, you know, now, now pester off back to the slums. Um, that's what you can do. I'm sure they'll love that. <laughs> Big fan. Love how much you love your cats and your community is so wholesome. I only have one cat, but I do love her very much. Uh, she's the best cat ever. Zelda is so cute. And my community is pretty wholesome, isn't it? Um, thank you so much, dude. I don't know how the heck you fall asleep to my stream ever with how loud I am. But, uh, I respect. I respect. Yeah, I like Spider-Man a lot, too. I love Spider-Man, I will say. I will say Spider-Man's a, a classic Marvel hero. I'm a big fan. Um, got it. Especially now the Spider-Verse movies are so good. It's like reinvigorated my love for Spider-Man. I'm like, man, Spider-Man really is so cool. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Deadpool. Yeah. Deadpool's Deadpool's sick too. Oh, I forgot about Deadpool. I love his sarcasm and his one-liners and just, just over the topness. I feel like Peeve hates Deadpool. I feel like Peeve would just be like, ugh, you know, like the Deadpool movie he probably cringes the whole time. He probably hates Deadpool. It's like, it's so funny and good. And like, he's missing the point entirely. Like, I feel like that's like Peeve is just, that's everything he hates. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so disappointing, dude. You're so disappointing, P. I'm convinced behind every successful streamer is a cat with a pop culture name. It's true. That's actually true. You want to know why? It's because the cat is actually controlling the streamer. Like a little puppeteer, you know? We're not even... You know, we're just here for the ride. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Yeah, you're actually just, you know, I'm, I am the cat. You just, you know, just don't know it. I'm not conscious of it. Mr. Moonvale, only Chase can tell me that. And, you know, and only I can, I can ban him every time, you know, the cat is swatting the back of the streamer's head. It's like, it's like Ratatouille. It's like Ratatouille when the, the rat's in the hair. Except the cat's in the hair, like controlling my controller movements. That's how good I am. 
that, that's the secret of my my skill <laughs> cat a -tui. okay i hate that uh i think we're all done with limb grave chad like i'm, I'm giving it a, a once over and it looks like we're good uh can you guys see if i'm missing anything i think we got everything yeah i mean at least the in besides the castle i know there's some missing in the castle um we'll go do that now i think you're covered yeah it looks like it meow do we i have the deadpool game yeah i heard the deadpool game's really funny they did some wild stuff in that game the stuff they got away with I've seen some clips and I'm like, oh my God, just absolutely ridiculous. You doing a hundred percent playthrough? Uh, so I'm not technically doing a hundred percent playthrough technically. Um, no, we are just grabbing all of the areas for invasions and then we're done. <clears throat> so hundred percent the areas but not like grabbing like every little spell and item and stuff. Stupid question. How do you open the castle? You just talk to Gostock and say you want to go through the front and then run up to the gate. He'll open it for you. Uh oh. Burp. Bad burp. Get in this. Stupid bird. <laughs> that took far too long. The church island. Oh, true. But yeah, we, that, that one's not important. I left that one out on purpose. So thank you though. Yeah, I mean that technically that is one I'm missing. Um, Good point. Good point. Burb wants a hug. Yeah, Burb does. Any weapons or spells you're hyped for? From what you can see in the trailer? Um, yes, I'm super excited for the, uh, for the kicks, dude. I want the kicks so bad. The kung fu-like kicks that you can see? Oh, I'm gonna main that, whatever it is. I need it. I'm gonna use it on this character, too. That's why I'm, like, super excited. <clears throat> It'll definitely be on this character. Am I missing beautiful Oro face? No, you're not. I don't stream face cam. However, I am considering it. And when I do, you know, TikTok gamers will have my face there too. So don't worry. You won't miss it. Um, yeah, I, I am considering it. I'm, I'm heavily, heavily considering it. We'll see. Oi. Yucky face cam. Yeah, you guys don't like it. What's up, Vale? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm just uh, running through, getting my tier monk uh, completed here. You should get a VTuber avatar of your Dark Souls 1 build. I actually do have that. I actually do have that. I mean, uh, like exactly that. I've never used it though. Oh God. Thank Miyazaki, truly. Um, is it in here or was it there? I think it was there. Yeah, no, no, this isn't it. It's a turtleneck. That's gross. There we go. Um, so that's the stone sword key. That's one of them. There was another one. There was one at the top. 
One on the corpse and one at the bottom. Yep, I remember. Okay. Um, and Kizus! Thank you so much for the 25 months, dude. I didn't even see you there. Welcome in, dude. How's it going? Is this a speed run? If this is a speed run, this is the worst speed run of all time. <laughs> yeah, it's not a speed run. We're just we're just going through. In my head, you're an elite knight uh, set in a glowing red gamer chair. Don't ruin it for me. Yeah, you know what? We we could we could make that happen. I think that that's what a lot of people think when they think Ouroboros is just the, the you know my elite knight Dark Souls one build. You know, or some some form of my my main build, and uh, that's pretty great. And that and I think that's pretty great. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Uh, we will grab sit, and then I'm out of here. Darn. God, I hate this damn bird. Imagine you with a chiseled jawline. I know. <laughs> Giga Chad. No, not quite. Oro Chad. Mm. Why is the weapon after you beat Melania so bad? Hand of Melania? And Melania is incredible, dude. What? What well, do you rank all the Dark Souls games, including the rest of the other games? In terms of what? My favorites? Or like in terms of like how good they are as a video game. Which one is do you think it was the best? Elden Ring number one. Without a doubt. Um Maybe Sekiro number two, honestly. In terms of just good, perfect game yeah Elden Ring Red Dead 2 uh, I I mean <laughs> he said he asked about the uh Souls games but uh yeah if we're talking all games I'm gonna be here for a while <laughs> um yeah Elden Ring Sekiro um and then i i hate to say it maybe dark souls 3 maybe dark souls 3 in terms of just complete good video games probably probably those three they're not my favorites though i will say oh god bloodborne bloodborne never mind bloodborne beats them all i forgot about bloodborne Armored Core not in that? No, no. Armored Core not included. This is Souls, Souls games. I'm assuming like, you know, he's not talking about FromSoft. He's talking about Souls stuff. What? Why don't you like Dark Souls 3? I love Dark Souls 3. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, easily top 10. However, however, I like the other ones better uh, for a lot of different reasons, mainly the PvP um, and honestly the PvE. I just, uh, I don't vibe with it as much as I do the others. 
It has a lot of spacing and not a lot of dodging. And I like dodging and not spacing. Uh, spacing is very boring to me. And uh, I don't, just don't love it. I don't love having to space out stuff. So I naturally like uh, the older games better in terms of PvE. Um, and Hanako! Thank you for the 74 months. Thanks so much for that resub, man. Welcome back. What you do? What you do, stream? What you do, viewer? Actually, technically, streamer too. Um, EP? Yeah, EP. I'm getting a little EP, but um, I think we should kill someone in the game. Uh, we officially completed Limgrave chat. We did it all. I double checked. I think we're totally good. So uh, let's do some invasions. Let's see if anybody's on. It's it's 3 a.m. It might be a little too late, but. Have you seen that guy streamer beats every Elden Ring boss only, fist only, took him multiple hours, multiple attempts. It was wild. Yeah, of course. That's, um, that's my friend Hap Happy Hob. God gamer. Um, God, I, a lot of my uh, speedrunner boys have done that. All of that, actually. <laughs> I think Lobos has done that. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're not, I don't, I don't wish that pain upon anybody. Um, okay. We're going to have to sort out this build because right now it's a mess, but for now, this'll do any news on Bloodborne PC. Uh, been waiting for ages. Um, the news is no. That's the news. <laughs> and Pikachu Brawl, thank you for the 200 bits. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh my God, we got somebody. They might run into Moogs. I don't know. Can't tell where they are. They actually, are they? Oh no, they might, be, they might run to them. They're right at the bonfire here. They're not moving though. They're waiting for me. Oh wow, I'm shocked. Get rid of their escape. Oh God, Moonbill. Oh, and Rob Breath, are you serious? Oh man, pulling out the Rob Breath. God. Bye. This guy, this clown. Rot breathing me, dude. What are you doing? Get out of here. Bud, bud, you got more problems, Mr. Moonville. Mr. Moonville, stop. Oh, so close. Uh oh, he's out of juice. Get him. Get him. Get him, boys. Get him. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was fun. The rot breath tilted me, dude. My first invasion and I get rot breath. Disgusting. Do you play fighting games? I love fighting games. They're some of my favorite games ever. I'm so glad you won that. Me too. Boys always sliding. They do be sliding. Be rolling, sliding. Love the channel. I'm glad. Would you ever play Tekken 8 again? Dude, I want to. 
Just uh, haven't had time, man. Haven't had time. I love Tekken. I, I'm a little worried about Tekken, honestly. It's in a bad spot. I'm more excited to go back to like Street Fighter at the moment. Um, I want to try Akuma and uh, who's the new guy, Ed? Yeah. I know Ed's an old character, but um, <clears throat> they they just put him in uh, in six. So mains in in what uh, I main Yoshimitsu in Tekken Eight and uh, Kimberly in uh, Street Fighter Six. Mortal Kombat One Ermac, dude, two days for Ermac. I'm actually might stream Mortal Kombat again. Might actually. Uh, might actually do like a Ermac day because I, I love Ermac and he looks so sick in Mortal Kombat 1. Even though I don't like Mortal Kombat 1, I think it's actually like a, a not good fighting game. Um, I love Ermac. So I might, might, might try it for a day. Might get some rage quits. Call it a day. That would be fun. What do you think of Guilty Gear? Peak. Guilty Gear's peak. I love Guilty Gear. I'm a Nago main. Fox. Oh, Fox and like uh, Smash Bros. In Smash Brothers, I um, I like playing uh, Ike and uh, Rob. My two favorites. Rob Breath isn't good anymore. Um, in 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 a in a gang situation, it's like super broken. Now chat's gonna be all about fighting game discussions. Good. You try out Abba yet? No, but I'm really excited she's back. She looks awesome. Ashura's Wrath, yes, yes, I know. I'm going to play it one day. It's one of those games. Like, I want to play God Hand, Ashura's Wrath. And TIE Fighting Game, I think we might pass on that. Uh, Twitch, what about it? Steven Fox. Oh, Steve, Steve, you play Steve. I've never heard to him referred to as Fox before. Okay, that's funny. Uh, I gotta take Blood Flame Blade off. Um, also, I thought this guy was right here, but I think he's on an entirely different level. What the heck? What is going on in this dungeon? Is he hiding? This is a pretty short one, right? I think he might be hiding. Oh, shoot. Rune Arc Duelist? Please don't be a Rune Arc Duelist. Ah. Uh... Gonna have to block him. He's using the most honest great sword. Really, really should have frost on that thing. Bad trade. Oh, he's super laggy too. Goodness. And he's healing. <laughs> Dude, I can't hit you. Holy crap, that hit. Chugging again. <laughs> okay. He's so laggy, dude. Oh my god, the roll catch this nope. Invincibility because he has a terrible connection. This is why so this game is tournament ready.
Okay, GG. <laughs> Are you streaming there? Yep. I stream on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. Is he cheating? No, he's not cheating. He just might as well be because he's there's such a terrible internet. I can't I can't hit him. Like even though I time my uh, my attacks perfectly, perfectly, um, going through puberty, um. Because he's so laggy, I can't actually damage him. It's really cool. Is this our boys again? Oh no, it's a different group. Lots of people doing mode tonight. Melania, is that you? Oh no! Darn. Yo, Melania is really over leveled. Oh my god. Look at this clown. What are you doing? Oh my god, Melania is so dead. Oh no. Sir Gideon! Come here! This is psycho. Yeah, he did it! I'm cheering him on. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Terrible mistake. So funny. Oh, Chase, that's not a bad idea. I might do that. It's actually not a bad idea, dude. Those Albanorics putting in work. I know, man. Goodness. Wukong, uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how the game is. It looks good. Oh my God, another one? What is going on? Oh, it is the same people. These are the same people. Rod breath. So cute. Oh. That'll do. Dead already? Yeah, I didn't last long. <laughs> Do duels? No, I'm good. I like invasions better. Duels are boring. I want to kill three people, not one. Are invasions worth it? I mean, you try it. If you don't like it, then don't do it. But they're fun. Yeah. 
They're worth a shot. Just, uh, you know, if you do invasions, come prepared, right? I think that's the number one thing. Don't just bring anything. You know, make a level 50 to 70 invader. You know, you bring some powerful tools. Um, that's probably the best way to learn. Were you in first person for a second? No. No, a game that never does that. It's just the camera, the camera zooms in real close like this against the wall. And your character sometimes disappears. people level 200 pvp in elden ring they sure do lots of people 200 is popping even uh 300 um do you lose anything for doing an invasion if you lose uh your blood stain appears where you died in their world that's it they're running about to get messy oh god holy over level double blasphemous dude look at that damage bro is not level 90 Look at that damage. Bye bye. That's disgusting. Oh, at least he's friendly. Still need to do Vitalis before Wilds. Yeah, no, I would like to go back to World. I haven't had time. Whew, probably won't for a long time. Yeah, that was a nasty one. Okay, looks like these guys are normal level. This guy does have a spear though. It's only one, but still obnoxious. Oh God, shield crash. Oh my God. Okay. And dragon breath. Let's go. Darn. That could have been good. I didn't realize he was going to block. Oh God, rock boom. One down. Max range rooming. Good fight. Just the tip.
Can you put me a favor and put Runarx as your hotbar and toggle it like you're about to use one? Sure. One, two. Okay. Are you happy? Um, also, I forgot to put gloves back on. But it is the main item. What? Like this? Like the, 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 the first one? Okay. I don't know what you're getting at. And I'm holding it up and it goes... Smiley face. <laughs> That's stupid. I hate you. <laughs> um, Hollow Edge, thank you so much for the 84 months. Thank you, man. Welcome back. You gonna get your runes? Nah. Nah, I don't care about my runes. I got 7 billion jillion. I'm never leveling up. This character is level 90 forever, so runes are useless to me. Oh my god, I love you too, see? I <laughs> uh, came back just in time to see a W. Let's go. Soft cap or 90? Um, no, no, no. 90 is just a good invasion level. It's just a good level for invasions. So I, I stay here. This character is a level 90 invader. This is his destiny. Um, is this our boy again? Is this our bull goat boy? No, this is someone else. It's another full group though. Oh God, they got a hunter. Oh, it's him again. Oh, man. Dude, Giga Chat. I've never seen that whip used ever. That's how to use whips, my friend. Don't run. Wow, the tracking is really good. Good job, Bloom. <laughs> what are you playing on? I'm playing on PS5. Yeah, there's definitely not too many people on right now. It's a little late. It's understandable. We're getting the same people over and over. <laughs> even even without rune arcs, uh, even without them counter tongues. Just way too late. Alrighty, chat. That is gonna be it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow for some more Elden Ring. We're gonna uh, continue playing through this character, do some more invasions, um, and respec him properly to, uh, to make the build complete. Um, but for now, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you again so much for watching. I love you all. Thank you, TikTok gamers, especially for joining us tonight. Um, it's great to be back streaming on TikTok. I don't know if I'll be streaming again, um, for a while, but it was, uh, it was fun. It was a great time. Thanks for joining us. Um, and for everyone else, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Peace.